Hey, it's me, your boy, Mr. Smart Donkey, y'all. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Luigi campaign on Total War Free Kingdoms. Um, yesterday, we also played this campaign, and now we're playing it again. I, it's crazy, I know. Uh, anyway, how's everyone doing? Hello, Cryu Remus Armand. Uh, okay, my stream is working properly. Oh god, okay, look at the fucking- hold on, I'm gonna show you guys this. Look at the face I paused on, on my own stream. Hold on. This needs to be seen. Um, look at that. <laughs> look at that face. <laughs> That's great. Um, Alright, sorry about that. Sorry you have to see my face. Uh, you know, not that you guys don't watch, you know. The stream, which has my face all the time. I don't know what's going on anymore. Um, look at this guy pinging me on Discord. <laughs> I'm here to lodge an official complaint. Just kidding. Hope your campaign is doing good, mate. Uh, it's doing fine. Thank you. It is. Um, yo, boys, get those likes going. That'd be great. Hello, Nikos. I know you've been here for a while, but uh, switch to the main channel screen. Good. It's 2 a.m. in my country. Well, that is unfortunate. So I'm get. Oh god. So you're in somewhere in Asia, I imagine, because you're six hours ahead. Um, apology accepted. Um, yeah, I have actually. This is something I want to talk about with you guys, uh, just to kind of gauge interest, really, as well. But I've actually been thinking, not for a long time or anything, literally just since today. But I've been considering doing like a 24-hour stream at some point, maybe next week, maybe the week after, or something like that. Um, and I don't know what exactly I would do because I I don't like having uh, like a single stream be several different let's plays. So I wouldn't like if I were to do it, I'd probably take like not really breaks, but I would cut up the stream into several pieces. So it's like you know every single piece of the stream is a different thing that I'm playing. Like say I'm playing the lead Sean campaign at that at that point, and 24 hours of the stream has uh, like eight hours is Liu Chong campaign or something like that then it'd be really awkward for me to continue, like have a let's play be uh, in a part of a different video. I don't know, it's hard to explain, I guess what I mean, but maybe you understand what I mean. Um, so I'm not entirely sure how I do it. Um, maybe I just play a lot, bunch of stuff that isn't really campaign, but then I have to fill 24 hours of playing other games, which is difficult to do as well. So I don't know quite what I'm gonna do yet, yet but if I'm gonna do it at all, but it does look like, or sound like a, a fun thing that, that might be interesting to do. There's a mod that adds the Han Empire as a playable faction. Maybe you could try it out for 24 hours. <laughs> I actually know about that, yeah. Um, in fact, uh, Moshed. Just do a campaign from start to finish. I was thinking that, because in 24 hours, I could probably do a campaign uh, if it's not, like, the hardest campaign in the world. Because, I, I mean, my campaigns tend to last, like, 30, 35 or something on this game, but I could definitely do, like, one and a half Shogun 2 campaigns, I'll tell you that much. Hello, good guy, one it win. Hello, Mr. Donkey, 3 a.m. here. Damn. All these people in Asia. Right, anyway, we had some battles waiting for us. This isn't really much of a battle, but it has to be fought anyway. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that. We have to fight this one, otherwise, I think medium losses against, like, fucking 187 men. So we're just going to have to fight this one uh, somewhat, unfortunately. But we can just use our strategy of... Um, 100% raised block chance against the towers and just shooting them with crossbows, so we should be alright. What the hell is that? Shut your skin tone, chicken bone, chrome no home, flip phone, disowned, ice cream cone, garden gnome, extra chromosome, genome, full blown, student loan, overgrown, flintstone hormone, post malone, friend zone, ass up. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking great. I want to use that in the future, but I'll never remember all of that. <laughs> you can finish your Leon campaign in like three hours. Yeah, I know. Yeah, like 20, 25 turns and you finish a campaign. It's kind of mental. Um, anyway, let us attack from, I guess, the back. So he's like, oh, there's a tower broken here too. How convenient. This is where we attack from, as it turns out. Uh, oh, the tower there is broken too, so it's actually just that one and that one, which still actually encompasses like the entire thing. But I might be able to. Okay, actually, it doesn't even help. No, let's just let's just do it the, the normal way. Um, drop that tower, and you're gonna go over here, and then everyone else is just gonna be over here for the sake of being over here. 
I might need my generals, but it's unlikely. Oh, and I might as well use you, I suppose. You know, let's not be stupid now. Alright, so, just move up. And crossbows move up just a tad for now. Maybe we can start shooting. You're just gonna go there. You're just gonna go here. Do the old blocking. Li Yohong is a letdown, to be honest. Yeah, I have heard. It's a bit of a shame. You can even... You can even delegate the whole legendary campaign you played if you play well on legendary. Oh yeah, for sure. The own campaign is too easy. There needs to be repercussions for removing bureaucrats and Unix. I'm sure they've taken a lot of feedback on, like we as content creators, oh that's almost fucked as well, but I can't break it. As content creators, we were like, we, some of the people uh, who had access early on mentioned it like uh, right away that they were doing the Leo own campaign. They finished it in like 20 something turns. So. I'm sure it's something that they're taking on board, but whether they actually do something about it, I don't know. These fucking bolts. There go two more boys. Oh, and there go a few more. Right, I mean, why not? Why am I not triple speeding this? It's a good question. What do you do? Nothing. Melee. Okay, cool. Unfortunately, while the gate. Oh, it's like almost fuck busted as well, but not quite. Like, while it's, uh, the, the, the actual tower is busted, we can't actually get in. There's no range units here anymore, so let's just move up a little bit. I want to move him further that way, so that tower keeps shooting at him and not at these units here. Same goes for this. Alright. Have you played as the new Yellow Turbans yet? And either your own time or on the channel, so many battles. I only played, uh, well, no. Even in my own time, I barely touched them. Uh, I, I, like, I played a tiny, tiny bit. But not a whole lot. Um... Can I interest you guys in, you know, shooting at the units that are available to shoot at? Perhaps, you know, that unit there, just kind of standing there. Sounds like a sweet target, what do you say? Alright, get out of here. They will probably fully route in a second. Alright. Now, can we all fire at this unit here? Also, can you shoot the gate? Is that something you can do? Oh, well, the gatehouse is open, so currently no. And they're all moving, so that means they're not shooting. And possibly getting shot in a second themselves. Well, that's a bit awkward. Um, okay, so I can't shoot. Can I shoot? No, I can't shoot the gatehouse. Okay, well, in that case, you gotta just sit there for a while. And I guess I'm gonna have to move some units up. Which is a bit annoying. So I'll move you guys up. And, eh, I don't need that many units. Let's just, let's just take like three of them. Because I'm gonna have to go inside. I, these guys aren't gonna break by themselves. In fact, the morale is pretty solid, in fact. In fact, in fact. Uh, it's a shame I can't hit them. Honestly, I might be able to do so from an angle, but I don't know. But I'll move some units around in other places to see if that would work. You guys just go there. You go here. Let's see if they will shoot from those angles. Perhaps not, but hey. Do you, do you like Shogun 2 or Fall of Summer more? Uh, I like Shogun 2 more generally. I, I much prefer the campaign of Shogun 2 than I do uh, because Fall of the Samurai has some really annoying features in terms of um, you can actually yeah, just attack the gate, see what happens. Um, it has some really annoying features in, in terms of like the... Um, oh, we are shooting at them actually. Oh, because they moved probably. In terms of... Can I fucking finish my sentence? In terms of, um, like, the the naval bombardments and stuff like that, and, and naval blockades and things like that are super annoying to deal with. Alright, shatter them as well. Uh, I need you to take the towers here. So just move over there and capture one on the way. And you are going to go capture this gatehouse, if you wouldn't mind. Um, so I, I much prefer the campaign in, uh, in regular Shogun 2, because it doesn't have any of those really annoying features. Um, but in terms of uh, battles, I actually really like Fall of Samurai battles as well. Alright, we've captured the tower and gatehouse is ours. The day is ours! Um, so yeah, it's, it's a bit of a, a mixed bag, really. Um, I like both for different reasons, is what I really should say. This is one of those annoying towers that will actually fire at me. Um, until we capture it, so I guess just kind of run over there, because I got to get my crossbows inside now to shoot at them, as that is generally what you do with crossbows. Capture that gay house! Wow, why don't you use the siege tower? Eh, I could have <laughs> in this case, but 
it doesn't really matter. Like, all these, like, minor losses and extra 10 dudes here, 10 dudes there, really doesn't have any impact on the, the end, essentially. In my opinion, the yellow turbines are too weak, even if historically accurate, to have them be a strong long-term threat. I think they should be stronger and more widespread. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it does feel a little bit... Like, I, I don't mind that they're weak, because it's, you know, it makes sense, but it, on the other hand, it is a bit, you know, there's no real point to them. Um, because, essentially, you can just, doesn't matter where you, like, which campaign you're playing, eventually the yellow tournaments will be dealt with, whether you deal, whether you do it or not, like, they will, they will die. So it feels like you don't really, um, it doesn't really matter what you do, eventually they'll die regardless. So there's, I don't know, it just feels a bit meh in that regard. I definitely agree with that. Okay, we capture that one too. You can dismount a general pull, sneaky and climb the wall to up to, wait, climb up the wall to open a gate. I can do that, but I don't really have to. And I'd rather my units lose a few men than my general loses HP. Hello, Tabaka. How are you doing? I am well. Thank you for asking. <laughs> All right. Oh, God, I really need six times speed again. Like that's like the the main reason Medieval Two is so good. No, that's 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 not true. <laughs> that's not the main reason. Is it is it? It's definitely. Well, I wouldn't even say it's a reason that Medieval Two is good, but it is actually such a nice thing to have six times speed. All right, let's fucking murder, shall we? Twenty percent ammo left. Surely that's enough. Time to. Fire away. Oh, they're coming towards us. Can we kill them before they reach? That'd be great. We should have five units firing at them right now. I mean, even those six guys might do some damage. Four. Ah, uh, get them. Nice. Perfect timing. And they're gone. All right. In that case, let's have you guys move up a little bit. And I'll just move some units in here. Almost out of ammo now, but that's okay. Wait, you didn't listen to my order. What the fuck? Um, CA so should act at Xiang factions and make Han versus Yellow Turban rebels versus Xiang rebellion, so it'll be a freeway on Mando if have an objective. Well, uh, in terms of Xiang, okay, that unit's about to run, minus 60 morale, minus 66, there we go. Uh, in terms of Xiang, there is actually, uh, uh, Ma Tong. I know that's not what you mean, but Ma Tong now has access to more unique units in this new patch, which is pretty cool. He has like six now, I think. Or, yeah, I think so. Like basically, I think it's three different infantry Chiang units, but they're all trash. I've been uh, considering doing um, a different style of faction overviews than I used to do. I don't know if any of you have ever seen or watched Spirit of the Lost videos. He does uh, Age of Empires 2 stuff. Oh, also, finally, we own this entire area now. Thank fuck for that, because I annoyed the shit out of me. Uh, but yeah, he does... Um, uh, Age of Empires 2 videos, and he did, he has done a faction overview thing uh, for every single... I don't know, is it called? It's not called factions, but anyway, like, uh, every single culture or whatever it's called in Age of Empires 2. But he uses, like, kind of, like, a rating system, and I've been kind of considering doing that as well myself. Um, although, he, he, for him, it's more like, you know, for multiplayer-based, uh, so it's a little bit different, but I feel like it still would work in this as well. Like, you know, rating the starting position, rating... It, it's kind of similar to how I used to do it, it, or how I did faction overviews before in this game. But, like, um, yeah, rating everything. Like, rating the, the characters that you're likely to get with the factions. Obviously, like, Liu Bei scores quite well, since he starts with himself. He's very, very solid. Um, Guan, Yi, Guan Yu, uh, Zhang Fei, and then he's always going to get Xiao Yun, uh, Pang Tong, and... Zhuge Liang as well, which is like such a solid cast of characters, so he would score quite high. But you know, someone like, I don't know, say Ma Tong or something, he only gets himself and his son, like always, and the rest is, you know, up to randomness. So he wouldn't score very high, but you know. Um, and then, you know, their unique units would be scored, stuff like that. I think there, there, there's definitely some room for, uh, for interesting scoring systems. Anyway, so we took this. What a terrible building, please remove. Um, yeah, I don't, I, won't, I don't want that at all. I also don't want the County Academy, so that can go as well. I will keep that. Wait, this is a lifestyle. I should go for food here. Ugh, do I remove every building? I mean, it makes sense to keep this for now, at least. I don't need to repair it, though. It's going to repair itself. 
Um, there's no point removing everything at the same time. I may as well just, you know, demolish two and then build those up. In fact, it, it makes sense to keep one of those as well, but I don't really want those. They don't make me any money, really. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll remove those and build those up. I'll let these ones repair themselves. I'll repair one and then let the other one repair by itself. Spirit of the Law, Pog. Spirit of the Law, Wood Wood. Yeah. I'm gonna head out. See you later. All right, Kit Peters. Have a good one, dude. Hello, Left Dead. Uh, hello, Marius. Oh, how about a horse challenge? A uh, horse only challenge with a lot of horse archers. If I were to do a horse challenge, horse like calf only challenge, uh, it would be with many or very few um, archer units. I can guarantee you that much. Right. Let's take this time of Lubu as well. So this is actually low losses already, but I think we're going to fight this one ourselves because I like it, it's very likely they'll come towards us, and if not, we'll uh, turtle formation up and just move up and shoot them down. Um, kind of sick, but overall good. I'm sorry to hear that, Mar Mario's. Do 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 do. This is like, I think this is my favorite army now, just of the cast of characters we have here. It's great. Uh, okay, so this is going to be very straightforward. Um, put up the shiz. Put a line of spears in front. And then hope that they come towards us, and if not, we just move up and start shooting. You guys can stay there, you can kind of sit in the back. Cav and cavalry. Alright, are you coming? Okay, they're not coming towards us, but that's okay. I'm just going to fire right up in there and have fun. And we are being hit. What the fuck? Yo, yo, yo. We're losing loads of men. Stop it. I guess I was already in range of that tower. Yeah, I certainly was. Um, yeah, okay. But first of all, let's just move up the whole line. And then you guys move up behind slowly. Our men have been discovered. Uh, are you firing in there? Have you done anything yet? Zero kills. Are you serious? What? Uh, how? You are firing, but you haven't actually fired yet. That's why. Wait, what? Why are you saying you're firing? But Are you not able to? What is going on? Fire. Fire. It's loaded. What if I tell... Oh, well... That doesn't matter, though. You should be able to fire. If I fucking tell you to fire, you will goddamn fire. Okay, hold on. God damn it! every unit's... <laughs> Alright, if I tell you to shoot at that unit... Okay, now it fires. I don't know why. I shoot at the middle one, then that's fine. Okay, there goes one unit. Great. These guys are all shielded, so this might not be as easy as I thought. We're actually already... We already threw half our ammo. We only killed two units, so this is a bit... Meh. Oh god, we're running out very fast. Um, then again, we have fucking Lubu here, so I think we'll be okay. The only problem being, there's quite a few fucking wooden stakes over here. Oh, oh, I thought they were coming towards me for a second. Hello, Choose. AoE2 by far my most precious and favorite, even though over 20 years. Mine was always uh, free. Uh, con controversially. Controversially? Controversially. Alright, well, you're still shooting. I've been firing at that unit. You have 54 kills. My god, what is happening with this one? It's not doing anything. It's almost out of ammo, too. Thanks for the sub. Um, well, this is slightly pathetic. We are out of ammo. <laughs> we barely killed anything. I should have auto-resolved. Oh, what the fuck's happening here? Yo, get out of here, man. You're on 7 morale, 4 morale. Yeah, okay, they're gone. Uh, Alright, so Lubu, time for you to make your way over. I guess you can join in as well. I just gotta jo dodge the um, the stakes. And preferably... Okay, let's just kind of move up. Like that. You guys just need to get the fuck away. Cab might want to protect them, just in case they do come out and they actually make their way over. Alright, Lubu. Just get your ass in here, dude. Um... There are some stakes there. I don't quite know if stakes will dismount me. I don't think they will. But first of all, we can't just kind of... I mean, I could probably just run around them. Honestly, just ignore, like, the actual units. Um, literally just run around. Attack this unit over here. Oh, they're fucking... They're chucking caltrops. 
Yo, what the hell? That's not allowed. Alright, Fendu bottom up, boy. Now, when the Cavs all in there, boom! Fucking success. Get in there. You want to join in? Probably not a bad idea. Just get in there, boys. You guys get in there. The stakes don't hurt infantry, so it's fine. Okay, he's fucked up like everything over there. Units are coming out. Come on out now. What is this? I hate when they do this. This weird ass... I'm actually sprinting, but I'm not. Slow ass movement. You, uh... No, you don't. I was gonna say, if they if it debuffs, I might have wanted to move them in there, but it, they don't, so it's okay. Alright, why don't you charge in the back of this stuff here? Oh, they fucking burning oil themselves. <laughs> Alright, don't go in there, actually. Oh, uh, that's fucking great. Thanks, game. Thank you so much for that. That was brilliant. Okay, make sure not to run in there, guys. Um... Okay, just those two units remaining. That one's already on seven morale. Six morale, it's lower. It's reducing morale. I don't know if that one's losing morale as well. One charge in there will probably get rid of them. And then one attack in there will probably get rid of these guys. The more they lose, the more... Okay, you should capture the fucking tower so we don't get shot to pieces here anymore, please. Alright, you've broken them. One attack in here, or one... Rage of Lubu will probably get rid of them as well. Full of boys. Get the fuck out of here. Killed half a unit in a single attack. How fucking amazing is that? Alright. Route please. Minus 30 morale. When they go, that should be it. There we go. Alright. Good shit. Probably worth fighting that manually. Um, You played Butterlord. Send Lubu on the rampage. I did. Have you played Mountain Blade? Because I think you should. Uh, I, yeah, so, oh god, should I, so, should I show the search function on the YouTube channels again? Um, yes, I have streamed Bannerlord, like, seven or eight times or something, and I have, like, five or six different Let's Plays, well, in the past of Mountain Blade Warband. I would show you the search function on YouTube, but I'm getting a little bit tired of showing people. <laughs> um, alright, good. Uh, we now own this, so... Oh shit, it's a good day. It is a good day, boys. Virgil Goyens. Hi, hello, this is even... Uh, sorry, I can't read. Hello, this is a gentle and remunerated reminder for the Guan Yu one-shot quest cushions. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, thank you for the one euro. It, I, I do remember, don't worry. Uh, it's more of a thing that I need to get him to level up twice more first. And then I need to put him in... Um, Together with a strategist who has the ability. Which, to be fair, we haven't got many of those. Um, I think we only have one, in fact, that has that. It's been kind of a shambles in that regard. Because it's the one on the left, and I have, like, no... Like, look at this. None of these damn strategists know how, to f know how to fucking start yet. In fact, I don't think I've got a single one right now. I think it may have been... <laughs> it may have been uh, Luigi that picked it up uh, finally or something. And no, no one currently has Wisdom of the River. How disgraceful is that? Um, is anyone even close to it? I mean, yes. Yeah, Kong Rong is a single level up away, so Kong Rong could get it quite easily. Zhang Wen is still ages away and he's 65, so he won't last much longer. So Kong Rong is our, our most likely one. Or if we pick up a random general that has it, of course. Battle, friends. Good. Alright, so this guy could come back, but he will take several turns to do so. He's now out of land. I believe that was his final piece of land that we just took from him. Um, so that should be good. Uh, I should read the rest of the thing. Uh, so yeah, I did, I did a bunch of Warband already on my channel, but I never streamed it, no. We played it for sure, yeah, there you go. Uh, have you played... Wait, hold on, did you just say the same thing twice? Yeah, you just copy-pasted your previous comments, even though people already answered it, what the fuck? Um, they won't take us alive quickly, that's burned to death, so he can't capture us. Fucking smart move that is. Lubu is easy mode. Yeah, it certainly is. I didn't. I mean, I knew it was good, but that's some uh, that's some big dick place right there. Okay, so we got a bunch of money. We also have minus for food, but it's winter, so I'm pretty sure that's why. Um, and of course, we yeah, we just taken the town up here, which is going to be food based as well. So 
we're gonna be fine on food I'm sure um, other than that we're gonna attack that next turn we're gonna attack this soon I don't think there's any well, we can't attack it right now um, they will probably not sally out but uh, yeah this is fine if they do it'd be great then we're gonna attack that next turn we'll have to seize that out for a little while as well but that's okay we're not losing any supplies here which is nice 33 from characters and then we got an attack coming in here uh, what I f did actually consider after yesterday is that we have night battles available in here so while I said I can't take them on one at a time in fact we have night battles twice no we only have ones um, we can actually take them one at a time we can attack this one right now and night battle it and then just sprint back or maybe even run back into our town no, I don't think we'll be able to run but sprint for sure um, perhaps not a bad idea because while, you know, it's good that we can defend in the trade port, it's even better if we can defend in a trade port against only a single army. Having said that, if we take out one army right now, I'm sure the other one won't even attack us anymore. But probably still worth doing, so... Yo. Actually, I think I'll just have one of you, if you don't mind. Um, okay, so other than that, the army is not particularly scary. It's got a lot of G militia, etc. Some spear guards, but it's also got those two pearl dragons, which are scary, but... It's only two. 76% well, base is 65 or sorry, 76. 65% melee evasion. And then they have 40% missile block chance as well. Um, but we can still shoot them down. And we are apparently not fully replenished, but <laughs> these units are all like like they're all full. They're just this one guy who like twisted his ankle this morning or something. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's do it. Hey Donkey, have you ever seen AI doing civil wars besides the scripted ones? I don't think I have, no. Also, we have 69 viewers right now, which... Can no one leave and no one enter, please? Because that promises to be a good stream. Oh, 67 now, God damn it! Ruined for life. Um... Right. We are kind of on a downhill slope here, but I guess that's okay. Uh, let's just let's just sit back a little bit. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to take you. You. Sorry, sir. I didn't mean to move you around. They did have some calves, so we got to play it a little bit defensively. But that's okay. And then Cav and Cav. I really hate that. I don't quite know why that is, but it's in every Total War game, it's the same. Um, initially, for some reason, these two Cav, even though they're on the top, start on the right, and these two, even though they're on the bottom, start on the left. And I don't know why that is, and I also don't know why it annoys me so much, but it does. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Like, how is that programmed in that way? What a nonsensical thing. Oh, I just got a message that I got a Euro uh, donation. Thanks, PayPal, for sending me an email now. Very much appreciate it. Alright, are you guys coming toward... Oh, for fuck's sake, they're not actually coming towards me. They must have towers or something. Well, fine. I shall move to you then. But fight we shall. Um, hey, uh, I already read that. I still have no idea what a civil war exactly is in terms of gameplay mechanics. Or do I really? <laughs> which, I might, which is why I might not be able to identify if I have seen one or not. Now I'm pretty sure it's just um, like, well, the way it worked in previous Total War games, right? It's like a, a what do you call that? A secession faction, like an army pops up. Or I think, well, actually, I think in this game because you have the spies that you can cause civil wars and stuff. I think that actual armies that are on the field at that time can just kind of turn to a secessionist faction or something like that. Secessionist? Is that even the right word? It's something like that. Secessionist. I don't know if that's correct, but it's something along those lines, so... I'm just gonna wait for someone to say, yes, you're right, or no, it's this, you fucking idiot. Um... Wait, what the fuck? I just saw no Shogun, it's the worst Shogun DLC. <laughs> Basically, if a civil war breaks out, there'll be separ separatists. Is that secessionist? No, separatists, that makes a lot more sense. Depending on the situation, they would get half of the land the original portion or more, depending on who joined them. The two new factions will declare war against each other. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright, you are clearly in range. Please proceed to fire away. Why must you do this to me? 
Okay, we'll move up a little bit more. I mean, it might just be because we are on like a slope and it can't actually fire in a straight line. Which would be very annoying, because that would mean I have to move up quite far for it to be able to fire. Oh boy, uh, should I just like, kind of switch my entire army and move around? I don't think I can care. I care enough. Just keep moving up a little bit, bit by bit. I don't see any towers, so I don't think they actually have any, so that's fine. Please fire. Do it for me. It's no longer hidden, but it's not actually firing yet. <sighs> Fuck you. You little shit. Yeah, it's on fire, well. Um, yes, you're right. Oh, it is a session. Is that actually a word? I mean, supposedly Dong Zhou has a civil war after his death between Guo Xi and Liu Zhu all the time. Yeah, that's like, uh, oh, we are firing, finally. That's a, uh, a scripted event, yeah. Spear guards, fire away. Well, not, not spear guards, fire away. Fire away at the spear guards. This one's level 9, by the way. This one almost needs a name. In fact, it might need it at the end of this uh, battle here. Holy fuck! Um, I'm going to decline for a second, so I have a, a cheeky peek. Because you're not really a duelist, so no, no to you. You're pretty damn good, though, so you might want to take someone on. Um, maybe we take the champion out of the uh, equation first. What do you say? What do you say to that guy? What did you just say to me, you little bastard? Fuck me, this guy's melee attack rate is 50. Mine, that is. Not, not this dickhead. I'll fight him. Fuck me, the calf's coming in. I didn't realize how close we were to fighting here. Um, fire at the range is for me. If you'd be so inclined, please. Use some, some boofs. You're gonna go attack the Pearl Dragons, because I need some help with them. You're gonna go around this way. You're going to go around this way. I'm going to charge in there so I don't have to deal with them running after my calf. You are going to fire at whoever you want to fire at at this point. You can do some of that. Okay, and they're getting messed up right now. We are. It is a night, night battle after all, so we should really be okay here. Uh, okay, you guys just kind of move around, please. The forest is... Or the, the forest. Yep. This is a forest. That's what that is. The snow is holding us back a little bit. Yeah, you have no buffs, so no point moving you over. You're actually not really doing too well, though. That's going up, so we should be okay, hopefully. Go around that way, please. Get in there. This unit hopefully just doesn't come after me. Range units. Let's just uh, make a line of you again and fire at whatever you want to fire at. Okay, get the hell in there. You've done your damage. Look, the enemy run. Fucking bitches! Oh, it fucking won already. What? He was like, it was barely moving two seconds ago. And now it's over. What the fuck? But it's over now. He's actually almost dead though, so it, it, it would have been quite painful. Man, they almost, they all routed already? What's going on here, dude? Uh, no, I'm gonna pass on that one now. Uh, with... With respect. I am not interested. Okay, don't attack those guys. There's a lot more shit to kill here, so I really do need to get my ass in gear and start murdering. The fucking Pearl Dragons over here need some punishing still, though. You require punishment. Are you okay? You're a bit dead. Why don't you start killing some units? Because I think you might actually be quite successful at that. See, I don't like this kind of... Ch chasing off 44 units seems like a bit of a waste. But we re barely, barely lost anything, so I might even want to attack the next army afterwards as well and just finish them off. Finish him. We'll see. This was surprisingly easy, but it was a night battle. But to be fair, if we did this again, it would be an another night battle, so... Do it. Do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Yeah. Boom. I think that either missed or she dodged. Or, sorry, missile evaded. Kill Wei Yu. Hey, it's Wei Yu. I know that guy. I always joke about, hey, where you at? Ha. Funny jokes. Am I right? No. No, I'm not. Uh, you not doing anything feels like a bit of a waste, so maybe do something. We have no ammunition left. This unit really needs to get killed at some point, but hopefully when she dies or this guy dies, that will occur. 
God, what are you just... Just get a move on already. So it's literally just... Well, she's gone as well now. So it's just a Pearl Dragon. So there are 20 more on us, not too high. Keep killing her, please. Or not. This unit unfortunately didn't level up. I was gonna ask for a, a nickname for it. If we had any members in chat, but... It's okay. God, this snow is really slowing our units down sufficiently, isn't it? Only one unit left of ammo. Nope, never mind. That's a lie. I'll need that one now. Uh, okay. Cool. That's about it. Kill the infantry. There we go. Pearl Dragons are fucked off, too. So you keep killing her. Uh, you did it. You killed her. Okay. Go kill that unit. That unit's gone already, so let's go kill something else, please. I can't even fucking get this guy. No, I can't, actually. He's gonna die soon. Go kill some more shit, please. Go that way. You just stop chasing because you're wasting everyone's time. So are you really, but... Yeah, whatever. You're actually killing shit. Killed another general. There's the way you at. Uh, I'm not going to be able to reach those. Let's just kill whatever we can here. This isn't going to be a very clean one. We're, there's going to be a lot of shit that gets away, but... I don't know what happened to the first unit of Pearl Dragons. I don't know if we killed that one or not, but that one's definitely dead. So we got at least one gone. That unit's gone. Uh, they'll survive. I think most of the cab, if not all of it, will survive. I don't think I killed any hard enough. There's definitely some more shit to kill there. The 44, please. 49. Okay, hold on. There's loads of shit to kill. You, come over here. Murder. Um, Liverpool beat Manchester United 2-0, so pretty good. Oh, Well, I am half glad I stopped watching football a couple years ago when I got a girlfriend and I decided I don't have time for it anymore. Because Manchester United have been an absolute disgrace for years now. It's a shambles. Uh, that one's gone already. All right, decisive still good. Pearl dragons have a fifty percent range block chance, multiple block crossbow. Take the, yeah, exactly. And see, like, even though the, <laughs> the range block chance might actually work against that because it's not explosive damage, I'm not entirely sure how it works. But I feel like you know when you get a fucking bolt in your face. I don't care how good you are at parrying arrows with your glaive. I feel like you're not going to do too well. Uh, I'll take the replenishment because I need it. All right, can we reach another one? Another one? No, we can't. Okay, well, in that case, I think we're going to sprint back. Do I have a sprint? If I were to get attacked and then run away, would I run into the town? Or would I run behind it or something? I'd probably run behind it. So let's not take the risk. Let's just sprint back into town. Unless I just want to sit here and fight. Um, not too scared about of this anymore now. They may not even attack me anymore at this point. And we are... Are we in range of the town? Not quite. I think we wouldn't get reinforcements. I think I might take the risk. I might just sit here. Take the risk. Does anyone want peace after all the murdering we've just accomplished? Peace out. Except for... Oh yeah. Lady Tsai wants peace. Well, I'm afraid... Wow, only 0.1. That is horrible. Respectability is only 5.7, by the way. So even though I am uh, minus 15 right now from untrustworthiness, it's only making it's only accounting for 5.8. It doesn't seem like she really cares. Maybe that's something her, over her... Um, she's a vengeful rebel. Never stays a subordinate, opposes power, dislikes all large and aggressive factions. Uh, reacts to negative dipl diplomatic events harshly, remembers diplomatic events for a very long time. Treacherous may opportunistically turn against friends or ally with enemies if that looks like a good opportunity to get into a better position. blah de blah This isn't actually Lady Tai anymore at all, of course, because we killed her. This is Xiao Jinshin. So, whatever. <laughs> Lady of whatever-ness. Um... Anyway, I think we end the turn. We have another spy that we can do. We actually have spies, but I only put them in our this turn or something, or last turn, so they can't do jack just yet. So yeah, let's end turn, I think. I have some money, though. Hold on. I might be able to buy something or build something. I could upgrade the Jade Mine. It does actually improve the garrison a little bit, and this is on the front lines. It's not a terrible idea. Increases commerce and industry income a little bit, and prestige, which is irrelevant at this point. That would increase trade influence and income by a little bit. I probably prefer this one over that one, but I can't build that one. Need another reform. That one. 
which it's not terribly unlikely I would get it, so I, I suppose I could wait for that, but let's just get this, just for the garrison, really. I can always switch it over when we do get the tech, if we do get the tech. Uh, upgrade the trade port gives us a better garrison as well. That's uh, Yubei Ping, so the top east, or right, top, northeast, top east, what the fuck? I guess that makes sense. Alright, and then of course, yeah, we have these places that we're losing uh, all over the place. We did destroy that army, but I'm sure he'll go over and take that soon. And then this farmland will take, be taken soon as well. Uh, Alright, just give me a single moment, because I'm hearing a lot of noise in the background. I'm going to go see what that's about. Give me one second. Friend was watching McBang chair stream. <laughs> um, does Luigi actually have a duchy kingdom title and it's not displaying because good good giant inherited? Well, he didn't inherit um, the kingdom. We we became a kingdom uh, while Guajia was in um, was the already leader. But that is a good point. We should be the duchy or something or kingdom of. Good, yeah. So I don't know actually why that isn't doing that, but I don't know. Anyway, and turn. Polymorph chair. The fuck do you think you're doing, Dongzhou lady? Hansui coming up. He, <laughs> he didn't attack as expected. The fool. Gongdu coming over to attack the iron mine. You can have it, dude. You think I care? About this iron mine. We are actually. Ooh, Han Empire. Oh god, I, I, that lady looks very old already. Uh, Zhang Gong has been dispatched, and so is Ruan Shan. We have a rebellion imminent in Jiang Yang. Oh, what? Well, <laughs> that works for me. We are going to lose this farmland, which is actually. Oh god, is that 10 food? There's no way. It says it's 10 food. 10 from four. Oh, it is actually 10 food because, of course, we get like tw or like several percentages from reforms. So that is actually a bit of a problem. I'll have a look at those in a minute. Uh, however, I do have where I just demolish some stuff. Not here. This one. I have several food buildings to build. So we'll start with that one because that actually increases from that as well. I might. I'm actually tempted to like finish off some of them. I'm making eight grand again, which is nice. Um. Yeah, because that's actually gonna be a bit of a problem. We won't lose it this turn probably, but so we have a turn or two to kind of make some food to back it up. Bag it up, bag it up. Um, we want just administration office here. We removed the Confucian temples here, right? Was that what? Yeah. Um, administration office doesn't really make as much money, but it gives us income from peasantry, so I guess that's okay. Although it won't do any more once we go for that. It'll just give us the corruption reduction, income from all sources, etc., which is a bit whatever so do i want something else here i could go for tax collection we can definitely handle the happiness but only the single building so then i might as well just go for this one instead and not upgrade it um could also go state workshops but that's not really relevant either to be honest well maybe late game i should go for schools when i have something like this open like there isn't really anything else i want administration office doesn't really do enough to be worth it so maybe making schools is actually not a bad idea Get some character experience faction wide. It probably adds up quite rapidly when you build up a couple of those. So I will. Um, I want to upgrade those. I do want to upgrade this because I need food. Food, please. Um, I have lots of options here. Let's take something that takes a while. So this one, fairly cheap as well. Upgrade that too. Not really too much in a rush to get that done. There might be more important things here. Definitely anything that gives me food is like high priority, but there is actually nothing else. So never mind, we're building this. Well, I mean, there's something else, but not much. Okay, right, so who are all these boyos? We have Lu Jun. Are you any, you're not unique? No, you're not unique. You're just some dude. Then we have Tsui Li. Used to be 
with, uh, oh my goodness, what a hoe as well. But no thanks. I think I have uh, this loyal immediately, just to know. I have enough people right now anyway, so I'm not too fussed about this anyway, but still. I too must take my leave. Oh no, Virgil has left. Uh, and now Tabaka is leaving too. I may return in the future, but for now I stay hydrated. Arrivederci. All right, see you later, Tabaka. Have a good one. Uh, and Beishi is brilliant. Oh my god, this guy's got traits for days. Competitive, brilliant, resourceful, philanthropic, creative, bright, understanding, and then lame. Bit of a shame he got that one, but... Um, he looks like he was hired by Hansui and immediately dispatched, which probably means he's a spy. He's very good. But uh, yeah, I have no real reason to hire this guy. Alright. Uh, buildings are irrelevant right now. Cool. Should I do some assignments? I did recruit some people to put into assignments. I Yeah, like Dong Bao Bao, right? I'm pretty sure I did actually specifically do it for that reason, so I should probably get on with it. Get on with it. Um, Huang Long Ruji. You don't seem like particularly good, so I don't know why I'd be keeping you except for that reason. So you are going to, like, in a place where I'm currently building a lot, so definitely here makes sense. So we'll put you in there. Um, who was that again? Crazy long name lady. Is that the right thing? Yes. Um, then there's, there was another town where we're building a ton of shit. It wasn't this one. Hold on. It was this one here? Not really. Um, no. There's one of the ones where I'm building shit right now. This one still has a couple things? Not really, no. Actually. This is only level 5. Holy shit. I mean, I probably knew that. I just kind of forgot and now I'm impressed by it. Um, I can upgrade that too. Sure. Hold on. What place am I building shit in? Definitely Zhongshan, but I'm already doing that, so it doesn't matter. No. This one I can still upgrade that later as well, but that's about it, really. So I don't think that's really that great. Yanmen. We definitely have more shit to be. Well, that's just a county school upgrading now a bunch of times, so it's not very impressive either. Pingyuan. Oh, Pingyuan. There you go. That's like one of the important ones. Okay, so we'll put in an assignment here. I don't want to use Dongchong because he's actually really good. I use Dong Bao Bao or Fu Chin Wen. Um, faction wide. Wow, that's actually pretty good. Who's the one who I wouldn't use ever? You like me, following the release. Okay, oh, you're the yeah, you're the lady I took on because you're quite good. And then Fu Chin Wen is. Who are you? Why did I recruit you? Probably for the okay. I'll just I'll just use her then. Fu Chin Wen. She's also less happy. So there you go. All right. That that'll do for now. Just mostly because I can't be bothered to do it anymore. I'm gonna fuck up uh, Han Sui today. Oh, the army's going that way now. Slightly scary, but I can't peace out with them. So I think that might just happen because I can't be bothered to bring this army all the way back down again while I'm finally arriving here. So we're gonna they're gonna take attrition immediately. So I might fight this one manually. We'll see. I do get the turtle formation, so we could just shoot for a while. Alright. Um, use the Empress on assignment. Uh, yes. Why wouldn't I do that? Oh, right, because it's a shit assignment. Yeah, there's no reason to do that. Okay, that army's coming back. It's not taking attrition yet, somewhat surprisingly. If I were to move away then this army will be able to attack the Jade Mine, which would kind of suck. Because I would just lose it for free. Um, but otherwise, this army will take this town as well, so that's, you know, the other... It, that would also suck, in essence. I could recruit someone, perhaps, and just quickly recruit some units, and that might be enough to deal with it. Um, probably more likely to recruit something here, and, be, and that would be useful. Let's first of all choose something here, actually, because we're kind of looking at this. 10% carriage salary, a couple hundred bucks. I'm not too concerned about that anymore right now, though. Another 25% building upkeep, though. That's actually quite a bit better. Um, we have all the important shit here already. Do I actually want any 
like units or anything. Imperial gate guards. No, they don't have. Sh they don't have a shield. The only thing I'm really interested in is um, maybe Imperial Lancer Calf, but mostly like cataphracts and heavy cataphracts. But they're so far away that I'll never be able to get them. I have to go. F I have to pick up five things to be able to take those. So not too concerned. Uh, the Imperial Sword Guard probably another one that I actually be, would be interested in, but I have to pick up four more, which to be fair are not terrible ones. Uh, I'm going to go for the building upkeep. Or this one, so I can build a... No, nah, I'm not too worried about the jade thing. No, nah, let's get the building upkeep production. Probably gave me a little bit of money, so that should be good. Um, Empress has cute art. She has a fucking sly smile. Let's say that much. Um, she's reserved for Liu Hong. He might send his Imperial Army after you. <laughs> not in this Let's Play. Yeah, that was... Um, that was a while ago. We're in uh, 205 now. The Emperor's been dead for a little bit. Okay, so I gotta make a decision here. I also can go ahead and take this right now. Uh, oh, that's level 4 or 5. Well, I guess we'll fight that one manually. We'll do that in a minute. In a minute. And then this I could choose to fight as well, but they'll start taking attrition now, so I think I'll just wait a turn or two. I'm not really in a rush, but having said that... Well, I'm not gonna fight it because there's, there's too much shit there, but yeah. I was going to say, I'm not in a rush, but on the other hand, I, I do have to de deal with this stuff right here. But I think I'll just recruit an army, although I have no money remaining, so I need to do some battles before that happens. I also want to peace out with you for now. If you still want it, you do still want it. I can't trade with you, unfortunately, because I have no... Oh no, it's because you're a fool. I was going to say, because I have a port on the other side, so I don't know why I wouldn't be able to, but no. You need food, but I don't really have food. Although you're... Oh, God, that's like such high value. But you're going to pay me money anyway, so... Not very well, but you're going to pay me. Would you be my vassal? Mm, a bit too difficult to acquire that. Any ancillaries you have? I'll be interested in those. No. I don't want a non-aggression pack with you, because I am planning on attacking her again soon. Actually, you know what? I might be able to get some land from her. Would be more useful. The small city. No. That is not happening. Can you give me some insta money? What do you say to that? God, that's horrible too. Uh, no, that's that's absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible. All right, make it a four. Fine, I'll make it a three. Okay. So that will be that. These boys are thirsty. Speaking of, I'm a little bit thirsty. Um, three hundred sixty-three. Yeah, I guess it's fine. It's not a great deal, but I just need to get that army off my back for a second. The incumbent leader. And then, because that means we can just deal with this for a little while. They're taking attrition immediately too, which is perfect. Um, and then let's do a battle here, just so I can get some money. Because I need to recruit an army. They are in... Do I have fire here yet? I don't, do I? No, I don't. Ooh. That is annoying. Can I still... Whoa, whoa, Puka. Um... It's annoying, because if I attack, I have to do like an actual battle while they're inside the fortress. I'll be able to do a lot of damage, because there's a lot of unarmored units in there. In fact, there's only three armored units. We outrange them too. Yeah, I think we'll just attack them. In fact, I could just attack them, and if I don't like the odds, it's actually, wow, it's considered a close defeat. But if we do that, it isn't. Uh, if we, yeah, we'll probably be able to win this, no problem. Um... But if I, if I, after I run out of ammo, don't like the odds, I can always just run away and just run back to town. Let them have it. Unfortunately, Huang Fuzong and has ended up as a leader of the Han Empire, so I'm probably not going to be able to get him until after the Emperor abdicates. Sadness. Right. Right. Um, let's just attack from here, because we got... Pretty much open, open ground. Oh, the actually the uh, oh no, never mind. It's a night battle. I was gonna say the, the reinforcements might need to watch out for them, but no. But no, we mustn't. So yeah, no fire bolts. Otherwise, I'd be able to burn the walls and just move on up. But unfortunately, 
that ain't happening today, laddies. Um, Cav, which are pretty irrelevant in this fight, but that's okay. Still gotta bring them over. And the boys. The boys. Okay. Get up here. Got some fucking Oathsworn abilities going off. Rival, never mind, hold on. Is Are they rivals to each other? What the... What intarnation are you talking about, sir? So you're 9 experience, so you actually are quite accurate, so perhaps I should target something specific of you. They do have a strategist, but not using... Oh, it's Dong Zhao! <laughs> it's Dong Zhao. What the fuck? Um, right, also, I totally forgot I have to move you guys through the swords now, but it's okay. You are pitiful! I will crush you for this insult. Um, okay, I should definitely target with you the Saber Infantry and say like Jian Sword Guards, etc. Instead of these guys, because I can easily take them out with regular arrows anyway. RMB. Does that mean right my bad or something? I don't know. You're going to campaign. When you retreated from the Yao's Vassal in the encampment battle, you lost some good items. Oh, remember. That's what that means. Yes, I do remember now, actually, that you mentioned it, so... I will be careful. I do have loose formation. I mean, I did. I knew they had that, but they weren't using it before. And there goes one unit. Keep moving up, boys. Just a bit closer. So yeah, we're not going to run away, after all. I've just been reminded of that. That was a terrible idea. It was a terrible idea that day. We lost the lives of many and ancillary. Also, this is... This loose formation is going to be painful for us. I just kind of... If I played this smart, I would wait for a new unit to take this place. Are they firing back? Are you fucking firing? No, they're not. Because um, the unit that sits there apparently doesn't go into loose formation. So I think I am actually going to do that with you guys. Just stop firing for a while. Triple speed this. See if a unit takes the place here. And then we'll fire at that one until it's dead. Then we take the next one. Although it doesn't look like anything is coming towards this position. Okay, let's just kind of do this. I'll just like... Wait for them to go into normal formation again or something. So I'll quickly lose a volley. That's like such a good target right now. Oh, this one's up to level 10. So if there's any members in chat, stick around. Because there's going to be a renaming of a unit. Or if anyone else wants to become a member, you can do so for the low, low price of $2 or more. And then... Oh shit, these guys are getting shot. Yo, yo, what's up? Yo, what's this? What the fuck are you? Whoa! Oh, they're out of ammo is what they are, so never mind. That was kind of painful, though. Also, you're out of ammo. Did you even fire that unit? They definitely didn't. Is it actually charging me? What's going on? I don't want to waste ammo on this unit. You go kill him, please. They're fucking attacking me in the rear. <laughs> God damn sons of bitches. I'm being shot, which sucks, but... No, do it. They're gone. They'll probably come back, though. I want them to be gone before I stop or before I start shooting again with them. Uh, but yeah, if someone's become a member, you can rename the multiple crossbow unit. It'll be a first time we get to rename one of them. What an honor! What a time to be alive. Am I right? Okay, well let's lose one volley and kind of wait for them to go into lose from into normal formation again, and then we'll lose another volley. That unit coming back now. They're gone forever. Okay, back into normal formation. Fire away. Oh, they look like they're... No, never mind. Oh, we wasted so many volleys because of that. Oh, God, what's happening? No, it's doing this thing again. No, now the whole fucking stream is black or like it's frozen. God damn it. Why does this keep happening? It's actually still bugging out for me. I can't see anything. The screen that I see right now, you don't want... Okay, so it's fixed for me now. But yeah, for you guys, it's frozen. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about this. I'm trying to fix it, but yeah, that doesn't work. Now it's a black screen. Hold on, what if I do that? Ah, that works for now. Okay, we'll just have to use that for a little bit. Seems like it'd be, it's a little bit more laggy, 
because I'm basically using um, monitor streaming instead now. Instead of the actual game. God, this is going to be a fucking terrible battle, because we're not killing anything right now. After this battle, I have to restart the game to fix this problem indefinitely. Can we just kind of... Since I'm running out of ammo here... Why don't we just all shoot a fucking Hansui over here? Is that even worth doing? Probably shoot a Dong Zhao instead. Oh, not you. Yeah, we fucked that guy up. Um, oh, don't... Okay, this guy actually is unbreakable, so I should... Waste the, or like fire the rest of my ammo at him. Although that unit's taking over. So we'll waste the rest of the ammo on it. Do a little bit of damage. And then route it, in fact. See, that's what I was hoping for before is that units would just kind of. What the fuck do you think you're doing, dude? <laughs> These damn units routing and then coming back in the, like, next to my units is somehow ruining me. Alright, I guess we're just going to have to fight this one the old-fashioned way. We're out of ammo entirely, so... Uh, stay away from those towers, so I guess just kind of move up here for now. You guys can just kind of walk on in, so that's fine. Um, need a new CPU. It has nothing to do with my CPU. I can guarantee you that. It's the game bugging out. Uh, okay, let's just move up a couple of units. I should get you guys in there too now. I should also go normal speed. No, the game bugs out. It shows me like a really weird screen of like, it's like half black or like most of it's black, but there's some weird like boxes of green and yellow and red. And then it recovers again. Also, I'm pretty sure I sent you over there. What the fuck? It recovers again. Um, and then it's... Um, God, you're gonna get dismounted if I send you in here. Just kill him. It recovers again, but then for some reason the stream is still fucked. Wait, how did I send you over here? What the hell? I must have actually selected him and him instead of him and him. Ah, eh, whatever. Okay, I routed that dude. That's nice. You do one of these in the middle of all these fucking anti cav units. That's pretty effective. You've not been dismounted yet either. I mean, this is fine for me. If I get dismounted here, I'm probably okay with it. Do you have a... Uh, no, you don't. Complete waste of a man. One step closer to victory. Just pile on in, boys. I can flank around, but the towers will ruin us so much that this is no point. Just gotta wait for his ability to come back again. And yours. You don't do anything, so... I got the clock. The clav? I got the cab a little bit closer so I can perhaps charge him in later on, but I actually routed most of the army already. Actually, no, don't do that. Get into the actual units over there. It's Hansui! Okay, just go go through. Kind of move through, just ignore everything, and then do that, and then do that. You do that. Boom. Killed a whole bunch of them. Good shit. Pile on in, boys. We gotta pile on in. Someone's gotta kill Hansui, because he does have he's unbreakable. Holy shit. Look, the enemy run. Little bitches. Fucking enemy chat cam is doing what I do. Do generals take more damage if they are mounted against spears? Yes. What if they're mounted, do they still take this? And if they are mounted, do they still take the same damage? Um, if they aren't mounted, uh, they would take less damage against spear units. Alright, do it again. Kind of get into all these archers and stuff. Probably even them. More important to rob them first. Alright, do it. I want to see it. Uh... If only we had Lu Bu, it would have been done already, but oh well. Can't have him in every single battle, can we? Hansui is almost dead as well. 9.2k remaining, 9k remaining. 
I never told anyone to attack him, but he's just dying. Big old bufferoni. Can you go kill that guy for me, please? Let's have you kill these other archers over here. Um, they do get dismounted. They only get dismounted if the spears are braced. Yeah. Not just randomly. 6.1. He's dying fast. Do it again. Oh my goodness. Okay, just kind of move through a little bit again. And make sure we attack as many units as possible. Like, right there. Get out of here, archers. Good. Bye. How many kills have you got now? 535. Damn. 3.5k. We're taking the... Actually, we're not taking the towers yet. We're kind of taking the towers. Did you kill that dude? Oh. That could have been bad. Take the towers and have the towers shoot him. Uh, oh, how are we How are we almost in melee with Hansui now? How did that happen? But make it happen anyway. I like it. 1.7k. One or two hits and he's gone. I'm sure that will do a lot for the morale. Uh, okay, we're taking the towers. We should be shooting at... Or do we not, oh, we don't get to own those, I guess. Or we don't, they don't fire back. At least he doesn't own them himself, so... He's on 6.2. Really, he looks like he's almost dead. Apparently that's 6.2k HP. Alright. God, can we win already? This is ridiculous. You're clearly lost. Just give up. Oh, fuck me. My general's almost dead, I just realized. I should probably get him out of there now. No point losing him. Alright, that's that's uh, marks your exit right there. Oh, well. Fine. God, this is a fucking disgrace. Can we just win already, please? I guess I needed his melee evasion thing over there. 3.2k, he's lost half the HP since last I checked. <sighs> he might just die from getting shot on the back by towers, which would suck, but... Come on, kill this son of a bitch already. 300, okay, one hit will do it. Do it, you're riding alongside him, attack him. Attack him, use that sword of yours, just slap, slap him. There you go. Alright, slap, slap, slap him. So that's two generals gone. You've come back from routing, don't do it over here, keep running. Where these towers fuck you up. God, it's such a slog. This is why I don't like fighting battles like this. It's just stupid. I need you to come over here. Uh, we almost have a mass ride now, though, so I think it'll be okay. There's some actual shattering. More like shittering, am I right? Oh, boy. Alright. What a disgrace. I need to go and actually do some damage here. Okay. Let's have, like... One unit to take that. One unit to take that. I'm actually going to try and kill as much as possible here, because this is actually legitimately worth killing as much of this shit here. I don't know which units I've used already, which I haven't. No, that was one of the ones I had used already. Um, and someone. Let's take that. Alright, that probably will do. Uh, actually, take this first before you get shot to pieces, please. Okay, the cavalry here. Go! Kill. Kill, kill, kill. Um, there's definitely more more stuff to kill, please, boys. I shouldn't have sent them where I sent them, to be fair, but it's okay. Ah, uh, oh, no one took this one right here. No! I'll lose a couple of dudes. Actually, I'm not, I lost two. Two guys. That was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, you've taken that. Go kill them, please. Do the destroyers of Scummery have shields? They do not know. They have a whopping 0% range block chance, but they have 53% armor, which is also pretty good. Did I actually not end up reaching any of these units, or did we kill them? I'm pretty sure I didn't reach them. I don't see any corpses. So, I, God, yeah, I didn't kill much to die in the end. Just that unit there. Go and help him, for Christ's sake. Alright. No shock cav in this game has shields except jade. I was gonna say there's jade dragons, uh, and also tiger and leopard calf and heavy tiger and leopard calf have shields. So that's three units already that have shields. So um, might want to reform that statement there. How about those imperial shock cav? I don't know if they have them. I don't think they have shields. They do have like sixty percent armor or something. Imagine losing this one. Didn't though, did I? I do have to restart the game. Real quick. 
Uh, I will take the replenishment again because we took quite a bit of damage there. And even though they weren't in joining in the battle there, they still run away. Perfect. All right, let's just finish them off. Really, you little, you little piece of shit. All right, so that saves the game. So let me just real quick restart the game. Um, just to fix the uh, the bug. I think it's something to do with the patch. I don't know. It's kind of weird because I was hoping that when the patch went live, it would have that would have been gone. But I think it has something to do with streaming, probably, because it seems to fuck up OBS, which is the program I use for streaming. Wide wave veterans. They have shields. Are they one of the yellow turban units? There we go. I'm just gonna say it's not fucking working. Um, I haven't heard them, but I heard they're pretty good. I don't even know about white wave veterans. I don't remember if I used them with Gongdu. Gongdu. Hey, Don sorry, I didn't read this earlier. Hey, donkey. This is kind of random, but what is a good motto? A good motto. I don't really do mottos. Whenever someone says, I live by, uh, I don't know what the fuck people say, like, live free and be happy, and like, just fucking put it on the Instagram quote and get out of here. Like, I'm gonna delegate this actually. I don't know, I just feel quotes are a bit stupid. All right, Hansui. So how was that? How was that war you just initiated? Did you did you enjoy it or some good chance of capturing those dudes? He fucking survived, but did he have a white flag? I didn't check. No, he didn't. Fuck's sake, is he gonna survive again? I captured Liu Fu. Liu Fu, Liu, fuck off. Uh, ooh, that unit's actually very close to being dead. I'll take the replenishment now. Yeah, they did die fully. Good. Good. Oh my god, there's another fucking army here. From Ma Tong, of all people. Somewhat good to know. Um, oh god, I moved quite far, didn't I? I'm replenishing here. What is going on? I don't understand what's happening in this, this campaign. I seem to be always replenishing in enemy territory. Because I was going to say, let's sprint back. But no, if I'm replenishing in enemy territory, then sure. I'll replenish in enemy territory. Is that a faction-specific thing I have or something? I don't quite understand. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> um, I don't know. I have lots of replenishment, but I don't see why I have to replenish in enemy territory. But I seem to always do. But yeah, there's a Matong uh, army coming this way too. And I still haven't decided what to do here. But I've, I was going to build an army, but now I need to think about building an army there too. Also worth looking if Han Sui wants peace that I, since I just destroyed two of his armies. Wouldn't be too crazy of a consideration, but apparently for Han Sui it is. Still, what? How did the fuck does that not... <laughs> what? Recent loss in battles only accounts for 25. Really? Uh, no, I'm not going to make that work. Sorry, I don't know why I even clicked that. As if I'm going to do that. Um, Alright. And then Ma Tong is not even a consideration right now, so... Slightly awkward. It's gonna be able to get to my farmland in two turns, so I have to build something relatively decent by then. They have some of the Chiang warriors, by the way, which is a terrible unit. Um, but mostly they just have actual normal units, so... Except for Chiang hunters, which is the worst of the three unique units, but oh well. Um... Yeah, I gotta, I gotta build something there, but that's not really too... Wor I'm, I don't have to worry about that just yet. I need to consider losing a jade mine on purpose, or recruiting something here, or recruiting something there, and I can just go on the offensive against this army here. It's level three, so I can actually attack it right away, because it isn't walled. However, it's still got towers, so it will still be painful. Uh, also, are there any members in chat? Because I did ask that earlier, but I forgot. So, are there any members right now in chat? Anyone? And if not, does anyone want to become a member so they can rename this multiple bolt crossbow unit? To, oh, and this, I need two more crossbows here renamed as well. We got the Bolts of Dead Men, the Blitzing Bolts Buddies, or Bolt, 
both bodies even, the Pew Pew Pals. So I need two more crossbow names and a multiple crossbow. So I need some damn members to do it. Um, right. So we have some money, but I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use that to to build an army. So let's do that first. So I will recruit Dong Chong for sure because he's free. Pop him in there. Do I want to recruit another person? I don't know how much I could really recruit in here quickly. If I go for these guys, not even a full army. Um. It's mostly like, ho I'm hoping that I can deter them essentially from attacking. Yeah, they got a decent amount of archers. Let's get a couple of these. Do I do that and then like... I can't get four of these, but I can get three of them. Or I can do that instead. Because I can't quite afford another one anyway, so... Um, let's hold off on those two. I can always... Or I can just get four of them. But let's hold off for a second. Let's just do that. Because I might have another battle. I might attack this one right away. Uh, there's also this one here. So yeah, let's do that first. Because that's an easy one. Or it should be. Um, this army is weird. Because you're leading it. But you're punk. Okay, yeah, that make, makes sense. This army hasn't seen battle for a little while. But we did do battle with it not too long ago. You could have recruited a champion and shield since they have two cavalry commanders. A champion and shields? A champion and shields? What? What do you mean shields now? Um, but I prefer that sentinel guy because sentinels are beast. Alright. Uh, this little hill here will do me just fine. Let's shoot them from afar as we do. Make ourselves a line. Oh, there's a small farm in the way. It's fine. It's fine. This is probably one of my least favorite armies simply because we have these shitty mounted saber calf. Or it's not a mounted saber militia even. Just sounds disgusting. But then again, we do have a 100% range block challenge, which is pretty sweet. Alright, shoot. I'll probably triple speed this for the most part. You have so many archers, if only I didn't have 100% range block chance to completely counteract your range. Oh, that was a hell of a volley right there, did you see that shit? You shoot him now. Oh. You shoot this one next or not? Oh no, you're shooting at my fucking crossbows. Ah! Shoot at my guys instead! St no, switch targets! Oh my god. It's a terrible idea. Cav, go around. Kill him. Damn, I I shouldn't have done that. I got all my fucking crossbows killed. Um. Yeah, you know what? I don't want to lose any more of them. Let's just move them back. It's actually pretty painful. Okay, just fucking get in there, please. I don't care how you get there, just get there. ASAP, please. Yeah, just attack orders, whatever. Go in there. Alright. What a battle. Panda, do some work. Hamstring these fools. Ha! Ha! Okay, and that's all the range units. Not unit. Okay, there you go. Ha! There we go. Alright. Bit painful for my crossbows, but that's okay. Get out of here. Um, Defenders of the Empire, if you want to... Sp yeah, but Defenders of the Empire cost 1500 bucks to recruit, which is why I didn't get them. And Spear Guards are now trash because of the nerfs, so I didn't want them. Hence, the Sentinel. And better units. Uh, yep, just occupy Fangs. Forced Migration. Um, nope. I'm good. Some character ranks too, in fact. Flaming shot, please. That's fine. That's good. Uh, nature's ally. I think that makes sense. I go for charge speed, which is always good. That isn't necessary because he's leading. Um, 
Is there anything else I want here specifically? I mean, that buff is really good, but I would mean I have to go through stuff. I mean, he's probably never gonna see, gonna see that level either, so it's like pointless. Let's just go for the buff of Nature's Ally. Uh, and then we got nothing else, that's it. Okay, so that gives us a little bit more money, which means I can afford uh, another two units. And then, or I could even do this now, I think, yeah. I guess I'll hold off on that, because I might actually do this one too. I don't really like the idea of fighting that. Oh god, the garrison's quite big. Okay, never mind. I guess we're not going to do that. That's actually a pretty strong garrison. If it was just a field battle, I'd probably be okay with it. But it's not. It is actually... Um, it is a town, so I guess I'm not going to fight that. Which kind of sucks. Um, because that means I made this mostly pointlessly. Uh, have we got any other battles? No, we've already done that. We're going to siege them out for now. You, you took this last turn, so you can move now. So let's start heading south. I'll get one turn of replenishment before I start sprinting. Um, you're going to help out here next turn if they don't just give up. I might just move over there with two armies. I'll resolve it. Take it. Take it or leave it. And I guess we'll linger around here. I could try and set up an ambush. But if I do that and they don't fall for it, then the problem is that I can't. I might not be able to reach that town anymore next turn. So that's a bit of a problem as well. But I think I still want to try this. 95% chance. Should be on the road. Um, I might I might still be able to reset a single turn anyway. I didn't move too far, I just moved off the road, so that's going to reduce my movement a little bit. Right, we had a rebellion incoming. I do remember that. Uh, oh yeah, but that was irrelevant. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally fine with that. Sure. Re re rebel away. Uh, low public order, minus 12 here. That's pretty big. Populations, ooh, that's fucking huge. Uh, possibly because we have a building here that I don't want. Why the fuck do we have this? <laughs> Why did I never notice we had that? Why do I have this? The Grand Temple? Did I just never fix this place? Um, this is... <laughs> my okay, so we get rid of this. Uh, it will fix that public order, but funny enough. Um, wait, hold on, is this... Am I looking at the right place? Why are we... It says we get 8 from reforms and 3 from... Oh, right, never mind. It's minus 4 from buildings because it's 16 and then my, my, it's minus 20, so it's minus 4 total. Yeah, I don't want this at all. I don't really want this one either, but I might want, need this to uh, let it build up happiness for a little bit. We do have level 5 and level 4 food buildings here, so that's pretty good. Um, yeah, I just yeah I don't want this either, but if I get rid of it, it'll be uh, we'll be on minus eight public order still. Faction support when it goes away, will be fine, but it takes a while to do so unless I take put that one book in for a single turn, which I think I will do, and then this will go up in a single turn basically. The faction support will go away. Yeah, so then we'll remove this as well. Hey, it's me. Bet you didn't know. Became an Ashigaru member. Thank you so much, dude. All right, well, to you the honor goes. I don't know if you did it for this reason, but you're getting it anyway. The honor of renaming this. Greetings. There it is. It is always, good to always see good. Honest friends come, come to, to take, take tea, tea and talk, talk of many, many things. things. Um, this multiple bolt crossbow. What do you want to rename it to? Preferably something in the terms of. Um, I was going to say our friendliness, but we have the bolt buddies and then the pew pew pals, but this one has nothing to do with friendliness. It's the bolt of, bolts of dead men. Well, whatever you want to call it, call it that. Um, where's the other army that we already had lots of renaming? There's the one up here, right? So this is the bolts of death, the dragon death, breath of death, the Sima H, the white death, bolters of bolting death, and the placeholders of death. All right, so yeah, this one, you just do whatever you want. It's me, bet you didn't know. Um... Alright, since I have the money and I'm not going to do any more battle, let's skip this unit as well then. And then... What was I talking about? There was something I was doing before that interrupted me. Something I was discussing. I've now complete. Oh yes, the happiness. Yes, this... Okay, yeah. I'll demolish that. Although I guess I... Since I can only build one building at a time, let's just keep it for now. And then there was some other place of unhappiness. Is that that one? Yeah, but that's going up by... A lot, so that's okay. Got a couple that are unhappy, faction support mostly, which is actually going to go away in a single turn, so that's all good. 
This is minus 44, but oh my god, this is actually reserves. All right, but it's going to be fixed next turn. I don't know why it wasn't fixed yet. Call it gorgeous package. <laughs> Sounds great. I'll do that in a second. And that rebellion is fine. This place I'm happy to. Uh, oh, also reserves. Okay, well that should all be fixed next turn and then it'll go up again. Yeah, it's all reserves, the problems. Okay, gorgeous package. Let's see if we can f fit that. Easily. All right. Um, okay, cool. That's end turn, I think, and we'll see what happens. Nice. I think I'm fucking great at setting up ambushes. They happen way more frequently than we might expect. Also, this is a decisive victory with low losses predicted. I'm almost tempted to auto resolve this. But I shan't. It's an it's an it's an ambush. We should we should not auto resolve that. It's an ambush. Um Judging from the fact I have destroyers of treachery here, I'll probably just um charge them in even against G militia and stuff. They'll do fine. Uh alright, you're trying to oh we got reinforcements. Really? The garrison is in range? Did not expect that. The Battle, however, will likely be over by the time that occurs, by the time they arrive. A line of shields. Um, I'm actually going to put both of these here. Let's make you a little bit wider that way. That's... Alright. Then, do I just send Lu Bu in immediately as well? Start murdering generals? I don't see why I wouldn't do that, to be honest. Um... Yeah, just kill the general up front. Why don't you help her? You're gonna go sit with the men. And the calf's gonna charge in from all sides immediately. Immediately. Uh, do we attack the back? I like attacking the front so I can run away if I have to. But there's... I don't like... like The, the one I'm most worried about is anti-calf, which is the Mounted Lancer Militia. Which, to be fair, aren't really anti-calf. Like, they're not as good against my units as, you know... They're, they're not super strong or anything, but I, I should still be somewhat careful at least. So you're gonna go in there, you're gonna go in there, you're gonna go in there, and then you're gonna go in here. And you guys are gonna murder him, so we'll start with that. Alright. Brace yourself. Oh shit, full on melee evasion. Did not account for that. Shouldn't matter though. Oh my god, it's fucking gone! Did you see that shit? <laughs> Oh shit, I accidentally accepted the jewel. Fair enough. Wait, that didn't happen though. It didn't even happen. How are you not routed yet? You disappeared off the face of the earth. Do you not realize? Oh, they're unbreakable. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, right, because the ability. Oh my god, we actually killed several units of that though. That was madness. <laughs> it went from 240 to 0 in the a, a second. Um, okay, just kind of shoot at an area with you. Okay, you guys let that man be, after a half mur murdering him. Okay, the Unbreakable appears to have run out. Holy fuck, I've never seen that effective of a charge before, that was ridiculous. Hello, Pranav Yoshi, sorry I didn't see your messages. Um, Gojas flashing the battlefield of his package and killing everyone. Remember someone was playing Tata in a new DLC campaign? Got the same Imperial Court when he doesn't became king, so I'm just curious why he doesn't, because I'm not Emperor yet, because I'm playing as a... Yeah, as was already said. Oh, she chunked him as well, did you see that shit? I'm not Emperor yet, because I'm playing as a... governor. When I do become Emperor, I'm assuming my court will also change like that, though. Uh, come over here and do something useful for me. Kill this man already, please. It is about time he dies. What do you say? It's kind of mostly doing that to hit the units as well. Oh, I don't know how he died, but he did. Help me out. Charge in the back of all that shiz. If they don't become stationary, I will charge them. Some of them are stationary, but that shouldn't matter too much. Oh, these archers trying to fucking escape over here as well. Uh, I can't really shoot at anything anymore. Just kill the units that run away. No, don't. Just, just don't fucking bother. 
you as well. Stop. Stop it, Ronald. Stop. Funnoba. Okay, we killed that unit. What's her name? Ding Bao Ping. Love it. God, the stories of treachery are fucking in inhumanly good. I think I actually legitimately, even on my commanders, I'll probably recruit those guys once they reach level 6. Also, my... Oh, 20 seconds until my garrison comes in and helps me. Very much ne necessary. Uh, this guy's being chunked as well. Go chunk her. I think they may actually join in before this ends. Before the day is done. Oh, that unit's actually gone already. That one isn't, though. Come on, Lubu. Don't let him get away. One more tick. One more slash. Nah. Our reinforcements are here. Just in time to save us. Oh, these are half dead. Run away! Actually, you guys shouldn't. I'll keep the cab on the field. Run away! Flee! Flee for your lives! Alright, let's come and uh, kill some units for me. Can you get this unit out of here, please? She's being chunked now. We're clearly in melee, so let's just do that and kill her. You missed, because you, you did it forwards. Like the fool you are. Well, they definitely didn't die, but that's okay. We'll definitely be able to take the town next turn. Although they've got, they've still got a huge garrison in there, so it's kind of rough regardless. Also, they haven't routed yet. There we go. I was going to say. What kind of nonsense is this? You guys go kill that as well, please. Thank you. Damn, they're all getting away. I didn't realize how close we were to the edge. I mean, I did realize, but I totally forgot. 16, they're gone. All right. Um, CA still haven't fixed arches and ambush. Nope. Like, such a ridiculous thing, but no, they haven't. I don't understand why they haven't yet. I will probably tell them again, because I have done it before, but perhaps they need reminding. I compared it to the problem in Warhammer, where if you sally out of a town, your garrison would come in from behind the enemy, which was a problem for a long, long time eh, that they never fixed for ages, and then they, they they have fixed it now, but like way way later than it should have been fixed. It's Gong Sundu himself who is cruel. He's actually pretty good, and I could recruit him, but he's also 57 years old. Does come with an, a handy expert letter, but I'm gonna let him go. Let him be. 2% is a bit shit. It's just a bit wank, in it. Why are you running that way? No, don't do that. That guy, okay, he's besieging, so I could make the choice to go up that way first. My tongue's running that way, so I'm gonna have to recruit an army into the farmland there if I wanna save it. Right. Hey, it's going to himself. Welcome, my dude. Take it. Take it, Gandalf. You must take it. Lost 259. My men tried. And there goes that one too. Alright, so now all my land in the southwest is gone, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. Good. I never wanted it anyway. Isn't that a line from the Frozen song? I never wanted it anyway. Kingdom of Wu vassalized Yu Ping Yan. Yu Ping Yan. Yu Ping Yan. That's this guy right here. So if I peace out with them, this guy will fuck off. Wait, so he's... This guy hasn't got any land anymore. I don't know how he's still... I guess he must have... Uh, res or, um, what do you call this? Fucking um, supply still, but... Coalition with Yu Ping Yan left. Okay, yeah, whatever. Xi Xi requested her master go to, to war with Liu Zhang. Jia Jin Xuan joined the war as well. Lost the farmland, lost an iron mine. Income is still great, so that's fine. Kingdom of Zhang requested their vassal to join the war. Kingdom of Wu declared war on the vassal. Bloody bloody bloop. Zhang Yang rebelled, which is that place over there, so sure. Uh, I don't know why I still have vision. Probably, I'm assuming that's going to go away at the end of this turn. Killed in Patel. Diplomacy. Bloody bloody bloop. We got ourselves a water cock. Ha ha ha, so funny. Um. Okay, he's attempting to infiltrate, sure. We just killed like six of his generals, so... I could also alternatively... Oh, I can't actually. That's terrible. So I could alternatively just kind of chase this army up with this army instead. But... I have like no movements. <laughs> I, uh... 
I'm also taking attrition here immediately, so I either have to do this right away, or I should bring over Lubu's army, which I think is the more likely likely thing to happen. Can you reach? That's the main question. Yes, if I sprint. Maybe even... That might even be in range, but it should be fine. Uh, you have a level up on Kong Rong himself. Right, that's Wisdom of the River right there. So now, I need to level him up twice. What does this look like? Close victory. I'm assuming if I bring over the second army, it'll still be pretty shit, but... I'm also not going to be fighting with these guys for a little while, so I think I'm just going to do it anyway. Uh, yeah, just move over. Should be in range. Tis indeed. Still medium losses. Yeah, delegate anyway. Must admit, it is really neat that CA included Duchy Kingdom names for most, if not all, the minor factions. It is. Lost a thousand men, including an actual unit. That's kind of sad. Okay. Did I get a level up, though? Available spy position. Embed a spy in the following faction. Mission aborted. Oh, we, f we killed the faction. Right, sorry. I could have actually done that. Oh well. Friends. No level up, unfortunately. Yeah, I can't recruit uh, the big boys yet. Although I should look at like all my other... Or basically all my armies. If anyone doesn't have them yet, and they can get them, I should get them. This guy wants to get to level 6, I can get them. I think they're they're level 6 unit, right? Yeah. Uh, Lubu already has them. You don't have them yet, but you're level 4. He's level 5, so he's one level away. And of course, it's not an army. Okay, so we have them er everywhere we can currently have them. We have them. We have the new farms. Uh, we're gonna build. We're gonna build a school building here too, and then well, first of all, military infrastructure. Then I guess I'm gonna upgrade the school. Then here. This is oh, this we're gonna be food, right? So yes, land development, please. And I guess we'll upgrade that for more food, because we did lose the food, but we're still in 18, so I guess we're okay. All right, take another food place. Don't need that. Could upgrade this, or I could wait to upgrade to build something here. Eh, I'll just build. Right. So Lubu's gonna have to help out over here. There's no two ways about that. I can't just abandon this place. So I'll move as close as possible. See if that's in range or not. If not, I will sprint him up. He's not in range. Otherwise, they would have run away. Withdraw. Um. So I'm gonna have to sprint, which is a bit unfortunate, because... Oh God, how do I even... What's the best way to do this? Move like, right there. Fucking... Stop! Alright, now they're gonna run away, so this won't even happen. Yep. Uh, the question is now... Can I still get into range with him? Yes. So we'll do that. It's a bit meh, but he'll die. I lose. I have hev. Oh god. Okay, never mind. High losses if I do this. If I auto resolve it anyway, I was gonna auto resolve it. But if I take high losses, although if that is that just considering only my initial army, like is this army gonna take high losses? Because if it is, whatever. If this one takes high losses though, that would be a shambles. It will be tired, but I mean, it doesn't really. Ah, uh, fuck! I'll fight it. Fucking fight it. This fucking random dude doing a speech while Lu Bu, Zheng Zhang, and Kong Rong sit there like, Who are you again? Uh, right, let's wait for a reinforcement, shall we? Which is actually a bit annoying. That's, um... I won't be able to set up properly, really, but it's okay. Did you just trade Han Fu all your territory to get him kingdom level? Wait. Who are we talking about? Uh, okay. So we're tired, but that's okay. I'm actually probably gonna run these guys off the field just so they're not in the fucking way. Um, and then we will set up the line once we have everything in position. In position, my lord. So you're gonna go right there. Spears on the sides. They might... I don't know if they're going to come towards me. We are attacking them, of course, but... On the other hand, we're also... 
Oh yeah, the Wisdom of the River now, which is good. On the other hand, we're also, um, we also have a, uh, a siege bit. A siege item, siege weapon. Siege weapon, Ray! So we'll see. It's triple speed for now. See what happens. Who are they? Is that you guys that just kind of bugged out or something? I guess we're just talking about different faction names once they become kings and stuff. I don't even know where to jump in on this conversation, to be honest. Alright, it doesn't... Oh, they have towers, so yeah, they're just going to sit back, aren't they? Well, I guess we'll be... Oh, yeah, you can join in also, by the way. We'll be there in about six years. So let's start moving up. We'll jump over there first. Uh, and I'll send up whoever has high speed you. By yourself first of all. Make sure I don't get ambushed or something. You are tired though, so I don't may maybe I should send this guy. Hey, he's so much slower though. Uh I should probably run or walk some units. Okay, they are moving, but not actually towards me. They're just moving around. Yeah, I'm just gonna sit there. Well in that case, stay with uh, the rest of the boys. He didn't even get there first, despite having way higher speed than everyone else. I don't know how he managed to get there so late, but all right, you can jump on me, donkey. <laughs> Thanks, Mike Wang Sama. I appreciate that. Thanks for considering me. I wonder until what time I'll stream tonight. I might. It might be a little bit later than normal. I'm not entirely sure yet, though. I have to pick up my parents from the airport later. Uh, at basically at midnight. And I usually stop about half an hour to an hour before midnight, so I might just go a little bit closer to then. But we'll see. We'll see how much I'm enjoying today with you, you folks. We already have a new member, so that's always good. How's it going, guys? Shame we never got red hair, by the way. I do wonder who owns that currently. I'm sure some... Well, I mean, yeah. The item is floating around somewhere. Just don't know who actually has it. You want to go? You want to? Are you fucking rearing for battle, Lubu? You want to get in there and start murdering people? I would understand, but there's some towers there. They also have yeah, they have those cataphracts. Very rare to see them. Awesome looking unit, but we can't really see them from this distance. How far is the airport? Uh, it's like a half an hour drive, 25 minutes, half an hour. Not too far, but basically, because of the the timing, I usually. Uh, leave around the time that they arrive, or like they land essentially. So let's say they land at midnight, I would leave at midnight to start driving. I actually have to move, I have to go a little bit sooner now, because I have to go to their house to pick up their car, because there's a few more people with, and my car is a bit too small to pick up all the people and their suitcases, etc. Etc. Um... But yeah, normally, basically, it works out timing-wise if I leave at exactly the time they land, essentially. In fact, I usually still have to wait, like, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, depending on how long luggage takes. They seem to always be unlucky and um, have their suitcases be brought on last, essentially, which kind of sucks with them. Whatever. What an in-depth conversation about my... the pickup times. Okay, we're in range now. Let's start shooting away and hopefully do enough damage for them to come towards me. They have this formation, and that was enough. All right, I'm uh, starting to get convinced that maybe it's not the actual damage that matters. It's just the matter, the fact that they get shot once. You want a jewel, Zhang Zhang? An interesting, uh, an interesting choice that is. I'll tell you. Who are you again? It's uh, this one over here. Doesn't have any kind of unique gear or anything. Made the right choice to move back a little bit, especially because we got Wizard of the River. But I very much doubt we'll even need it. I'll be honest. Does anyone want to jewel this man? No. Well, I can't blame you. Cataphract's being taken down already, by the way. With their 53% armor. The heavy ones have 63, I think. Oh, the fucking bolts are firing at them, too. Uh, you want to duel Dong Chong? Dong Chong is a beast as well. Actually, no, I haven't got much items on him. He's level 6, but he's not really geared up right now, so I'll leave it. Alright, so you're dueling. God, he's almost dead already. They only... They barely even started yet. 
Alright, so he's got his armor gone and his melee evasion, so this should be pretty effective. No, it somehow did nothing. Did you miss because he was too far away? Like, what? What was that? Uh, we have some cavalry, I ought to use them. Okay, she's still destroying it, obviously. But it was a little bit more iffy than I expected it to be, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, no, I should turn that off, sorry. Okay, this guy is about to be gone. 5.9k remaining, and there he goes, 1k, 1 HP. HP! The fuck are you running towards me for, you little bitch? I need to start tired though, so this is actually gonna be quite shit anyway. What is this battle again? Uh, oh right, yeah, this army will die regardless, we don't have to finish them off manually, which is good. Can you get rid of that unit for me, please? Did you get dismounted? Oh, you fucking did, alright, well... Nice, you hit all your own men, very useful. Go hunt that guy down anyway. Does he want to duel you? He does. Okay, let's just do that then. Um, Cav, let's go do something. Didn't really do much of my units this time around. Apparently we're fighting a fucking anti-Cav unit here and not care. Maybe one of you can get away from there and charge the unit in the back. And this is actually a really bad idea, let's just not do that. Boom, ba -doo -ba -doo, boom, ba -doo -ba -doo, boom, 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 Can you kill this man for me? Have you got wisdom in the river yet? No, not really. Oh, that one hit. It's an awful. Quick thing about the jewel exploit. If you start a jewel behind your lines and the enemy general charges through your line, he or she will kill you as he charges through. Really? Interesting. Probably still worth doing, in my opinion, but that is actually something to keep in mind. Oh, chunk this man. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Yes! Shunk him. I shouldn't use the ability, it's not worth it. You steal her horse while she's. or hit his horse while he's dueling. Take it, Lubu. Just take the horse. Look at this guy doing. What's he doing? Did you see that? <laughs> he's dancing around. Go on, kill him. Go on, get him. No, don't chase the. No, just move over here. Attack this man specifically, please. Come now, Lubu. God, he can't move for that unit. This unit's probably trying to get to its unit, but it's stuck because of the jewel or something. I don't know what's going on there, but it's fucking great. Alright, we won, which... There we go, I should end the, the battle. Alright, let's get out of here. I'm pretty sure they have the white flag, so... Um... Speaking of albums, I'm gonna drop a new one. She, it's fucking fire, apparently. Okay. The man is fearless. <laughs> Lubu dies. He's getting shot by the towers in the background the whole time. As I'm standing there fucking around. Uh, I have no interest in you. And you are actually pretty decent. But I have too many freaking guys ready to join my faction already. Uh, there's no white flag. I could have. It might not be there right now, though. He ran away, so he, he should be dead, right? Um, the replenishment would only be on the initial army. I'll just take the money. Yeah, they're gone. Alright. So, you're actually gonna move in here. Eh, I'm not really worried about getting attacked by that in Force March down, so let's just go. Town is slightly burned. And you, I think I'm gonna call back. Uh, I will recruit one more. It's kind of a waste of money, really, but I'll recruit a unit and then I'll disband them. I'm gonna pull them elsewhere if I need to. So I gotta start. Start. I, I have to start considering what to do here because this army is coming. It's not gonna be able to attack me yet this turn. So I, I do get two turns of replenishing an army, basically. Oh my God, Lua Jun is actually unhappy. Why? Desire is hard core position. Death of a friend. What? Who died? Rivals resources in the faction. Lack of purpose. Okay, Luijun. This guy's actually really solid, so I do want to make sure I keep him around. He's got fucking... I mean, yeah, look at his gear and everything. I just haven't... Well, you're a great person to recruit right now. He's also brilliant, which is why he desires our core position, too. Oh, no, that's just him. increase ambition. Never mind. I'm a liar. Um, I can do that one once. All right, let's recruit him here. If I can afford him. Yeah, I can. I do need to replace those units. 
Um, yeah, I don't really want spear guards, but I guess for now it'll do. Just get that, and then I'll recruit Fu One in there as well. Do you have no? You don't have those abilities. So I do actually. You know, this could just be a new army here. A couple of crossbows. I should have probably not built one of those and get more crossbows instead. Oh no, it's pushing that one to the right. I don't want that. I want I want the next units. Uh, I hate that. Um, it's okay. Alright, so I get one more turn of replenishing that, to be fair. Um, I wonder if I should cancel a building and recruit another person here, like Neofu or something. I could even cancel a couple of buildings and just do that. Neofu, are you any good? I mean, I, all the people that I have in reserves are basically good, except if I recruited them simply to... Yeah, this guy's fucking great. Um, unless I simply recruited them to... Um, uh, to do an assignment, but in which case they would already be doing an assignment right now. Yeah, I'm gonna cancel some buildings. I'm just gonna do that instead. I kind of want to cancel the fucking jade mine, to be honest. But uh, yeah, I think I will actually. Fuck that jade mine. It's two and a half grand right there, which at least gives me all the crossbow boys. Um, I don't quite have enough to recruit Neofu, but I think I am gonna cancel some more shmore. Uh, the garrison here is quite large, because I don't know, it's a normal garrison, so I could attack this right now. I could also auto resolve it. I'll take medium losses, but I think that's probably okay. This army, I'm pretty sure, has good replenishment across the board. Uh, I should fight it manually, probably, but I can't be bothered. I will take it right now. I will take the Ring to Mordor. Probably lose like a thousand. Hmm. Oh, that's a bit sad, but it's alright. Didn't get much money for that, though. Got another 704 from that, so that's good. Um, this has industry, nothing, and nothing. So currently, yeah, the only income we get here is from industry, which means this is fine, although I do want to convert it over. I don't think I need that. Um, I'll keep the faction support thing for another turn, I guess. I definitely don't want that building. Uh, this is fine, but it's going to go for commerce instead. So I need to convert that over as well, but I have need for money and I don't want this building. Okay. Jashu ranked up. Good, good. Let's get that done. Stifling Deluge or that. Stifling Deluge is not that important. I'm actually going to go that way. Oh, I'm actually going to ignore that. She's... Um, this army has yet to move as well, by the way. So I'm not going to send it that way. I'm not going to attack here anymore. So I don't quite know what to do with it, unless I want to just go on the offensive here and help out here. But if that's going to be an actual army, I will have two armies here already. So I feel like that would be a bit of a waste. So I think this one is going to go down this way. So let's just move back to our trade port first. Replenish on the way pretty nicely. Um, I was meaning to ask you, what is your hate of tax collection buildings? Uh, it just doesn't seem like a very good building is the problem like it it gives you some income from peasantry but provinces that are based around food usually don't make that much money anyway so having a little bit more income from peasantry isn't going to matter if you don't have any other buildings that enhance peasantry income right so you know if you have a, a money-making province like I don't know, this one looks like one we have 355% extra commerce income, and 200. Actually, this one has a lot of commerce income or a peasantry income. Holy shit! What the fuck's that all coming from? <laughs> it must be. Um, there's 125% there actually. So yeah, 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 population base. I guess it's still pretty good. But even then, there isn't a whole lot of peasantry income you get. Whereas if you take like all the the commerce buildings, I suppose it's actually pretty similar. You know what? It's it's not even that. But it's the happiness as well. Like generally, most of my provinces only have like enough happiness for me to build one um, tax collection building. And also, that's like max level, by the way. So you can obviously consider it's like a lot lower. So normally, I'd only be able to build, build this, and otherwise, my happiness goes below um, zero, and then it becomes a problem. So I just I don't know. I just don't think it's a very useful building. It's okay. Um, okay, has that given me enough money to recruit that dude? It hasn't. Still to cancel more. Gosh darn it. 
what do I cancel? I'm pretty sure I just built this, didn't I? Yeah, it's a free turn building. It's only 910 bucks though, which isn't very good. Hedong income from commerce or industry. Um, anything that I start building this turn is like, that's 1,330 bucks. Okay, that'll get me mostly there. Neofer, please. Do you have the right bonuses? No, you don't either. Damn. I should have checked that should, if the other guy does. <sighs> this guy. No, he doesn't either. Although he, you know, they're just similar distance away. Well, since neither one has a replenishing bonus or anything, I'm going to make you the commander. I do need to change over most of the units. Um, and I'll, I need to change over all of those as well, but we'll start with these guys. So I'll just take some mounted militia calf, please. And then these are fine for now. I need to basically switch over eight units to these guys, which is going to be quite expensive. But it'll happen over time. Right, then what I do need to do there as well is actually give out some items. So we have a piece of armor for you. We have a spear for you, or no, we'll give you a glaive. And I have, uh, I guess, sure, that's fine. You already have all the good gear because I gave that to you before. Although I do want a spear on you to increase your expertise. Now your expertise is too low that it's, it doesn't matter enough. And you can get a whole load of nothing. You can get that one. And a bow for nine cunning. No, here you go, it's a six. Orator, can we get that? Nope. Orator, boiler, mash him, stick him in the stew. Holy shit, 50% Fi firing, range firing rate, own army. We've got to get that fucking rope. That's a silver one, I think, but still. Um, and then we have a brilliant in here and here as well, so we have more ammunition for the entire army. Good. Okay. He is unhappy with me right now. Although that's actually made him a lot more happy. Holy shit. What's changed? Oh, I, I gave him a promotion. That's what I did. Okay. Um, right, so you're going to deal with this shit over here. You guys are going to have to... Well, you can go back now to this place. Start preparing for war against him, I guess? I need some replenishment, so I'll move normally. You need to replenish as well. Are you anywhere near leveling? Yeah, relatively close. Um, and then this army is on the way. And to remember to do that, you you can start sprinting now. So we're just going to get you down this way as well to prepare against the war against the Kingdom of Zhong, who has... Fairly decent amount of land. It's mostly that he's got vassals as well. He's got like three of them or something now. He has exactly three. One of them's right there. Okay, so the this one and that one have quite a bit of land, but they're not like immediately bordering me. And then this one only has like two pieces of land and he's a little bit closer. But to be fair, he's only just across the river as well. He's not that far away. In fact, I'm getting like... I'm almost halfway through at this point. If I start taking those pieces of land, I'll be halfway through China. I mean, this is a big fucking belly, but still. We're uh, expanding here. How are our relations with you, by the way? Very... Oh my god, you fucking despise me. Because we've had good relations with him for... Well, we have good relations with him for a long, long while. We actually have, like, no relations right now at all. Everyone hates me. Wait, is Gongdu like me? No way. He does. <laughs> What? <laughs> War trust is against our enemy. I guess that makes sense. You want to peace out now? No, not 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 enough for that. He's like, yeah, you're you're a great guy because you're keep murdering our enemies. Keep that up, but don't consider us friends. And Han Empire, surprisingly, is actually my second best friend. It seems. What the fuck? Han Empire is vassalized by Lady Wudo, along with the rest of China. It seems. Kingdom of Wu has, or sorry, Wei has no no vassals. It's like the only major faction that doesn't. Anyway, uh, yep, let's move on. I think it's time to end the turn. I'm also going to keep the minus 10 morale away and just take the faction support. It's really good. Do I, is there anything else here? That, there was one more that I really wanted to get. I just don't remember. What, yeah, this one. Getting a town to level 10. Right, I really want to do that at some point. It says I have a level 9 town somewhere, but I couldn't find it. I'm pretty sure the highest I have is 8. But still. Can I actually get that, or is, that some, is there some tech that's required? Uh, looks like that's possible. So minus 25% 20, minus corruption would be a lot of money, so I actually probably should actually build up a town at some point and do that. Maybe start focusing on that after I've built up this army. 
Okay, so you're gonna have to replenish for a little while. I mean, we looked at everything twice now. Let's fucking move on. Population, yeah. Yeah, population is a thing. The Yubiya 182 start is so nice. No soon John to terrorize you. Are you gonna try and get all the horse pastures? Uh, oh, she's declared war on me again. Not on purpose, but yeah, I will be acquiring them over time, sure. But not like, I'm not specifically going for them. They will save me some money, but I'm not too concerned about that. Dong Min requested that faction join the war. Well, all right. Ooh, we liberated Wang Rui, what the fuck? That's one less war I'll have to worry about then. Guo Bu, another kid. All right. All right, I'm actually a little bit worried about this situation here now because one army was, you know, tough enough as it was, but now I got, there's another one coming. With some more tiger and leopard cap. She's wearing the armor piece that I need. She has it. Uh, there, that one. No, wait, that's intellectual vestures. I need, to, I need the bronze one then. Shit, or maybe it's a legendary one. I don't know. Anyway. Um, nope, you're vain. Get out of my court, you're weak. Get out of my damn court. Dang you on. You're pretty decent, but I don't really need you right now. And I already did to you. All right. Uh, philanthropic, good. Ancillary labor, recruiter, sure. Spy events, trying to get in. Sure, sure. Sure, sure. Okay, this place. So we're gonna go for industry income here. So I do wanna switch this over. But I think for the moment we're more interested in getting some other stuff. Start with the inn. Um, more food. I do want more food and stuff, but I do have an army to build. I think I want to do that first, actually. So we'll start with the units that need the replacing the most, which is those ones, the one that are currently G militia. It does reduce their number by a little bit, but it also makes them way more effective. So all right, that's all my money. I could cancel the buildings I just build for some more money, but I'm not too concerned about it. Uh, I got loads of shit to build still, but it's all right. It's all right. I might even have a battle somewhere. I'm gonna level up for Empress Her. Great. Do I have any faction-wide stuff that I don't think that she's not actually uh, any anything in the faction. So she's not Prime Minister Era faction leader. She's wife, which isn't quite the same. Faction support. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I don't think any of these things matter really. Is there anything that actually well? Morale on territory when if she's like she's administrator, I think, so I guess that would do something, but um it, I mean I guess it's the only thing that might actually do something, so sure, we'll take it. Um Diplomacy, I'm gonna quickly look if there's any peace or anything I can do. No. Like mostly I'd be interested in peace and peace that comes along with trade, like you. I can trade with now, so that would actually be worth trying to get, because that would be worthy of something, because it's making me an extra 1500 bucks per turn. Um, so that's definitely something that's worth considering. Wow, he's not even too opposed to being a coalition either, crazy stuff. Um, you don't need food, so that's not going to happen, so I'll give you this shitty sword that I would never use myself, and I'll probably have some more incendiaries that I really won't use too much anymore. Such as Clay Warrior, the Clay Rats. These are all shitty ones, though. I kind of want to give them some better ones. The axe. I'm actually using an axe right now. I, I've I, the, my love for the axe has grown a little bit. Um, nah, I'll just give you another one of these shitty things. That's gonna bring me all the way, almost all the way there. So that's good. So I'll give you. Um, you don't care about food at all, but you do take one food for 1 1.5 or something. 1.1, 1 .1, that's good. Um, and then I will make you a little bit of money as well. Why not? This this food, or this money deal, uh, trade deal will be worth it. 131 per turn. What do you say? A nice 130. Okay. Good man. Alright, sure. Yeah, we'll do that. Get some trade going. Anyone else who might be considered... Oh, there's more trade I can do now. Oh, because I'm now... Oh, right, okay, that's interesting. Because I, I... Because he was a vassal... No, wait, hold on. How has this mattered at all? I wasn't at war with him before, was I? I don't know why I'm not able to trade with him, but... I'll definitely make that work. 
give some more shitty ancillaries. Here's a clay axe, as well as a clay fish. Now, please pay me. Nope. Pay me. No? Wow. That is a little bit sad. Um, why don't you take one of my finest food as well? And then pay me. What do you say to that? That's what I thought, you little bastard. There's my 130 bucks back. Wow, he's actually willing to pay me quite a bit for food, so perhaps I should give him a little bit more. I don't have that much food, though, so i got to be careful here. But I might be able to make quite a bit of money from this. Then again, I'm not really that concerned about cash right now, so... Hold on. Where does the... Okay, so actually the, the 1.5 stops there, so this is actually a good deal. Make it 410 or something. 407. All right. And 1,439 bucks for trade. A couple of ancillaries, got a little bit of food. All right, income's up to 11K now. And then we still got perhaps more pieces to work through as well. Because the thing is actually, I did... Oh, wow, she's like very divided now. I was considering her piece of this at some point, And then I said, nah, because I can't trade with her. Now I can actually. But also, she of course has a whole bunch of vassals. That's pretty bad though. Um, which I wouldn't be at war with anymore either, so perhaps I'd be able to trade with those people. So that's something actually worth looking into as well, real quick. Hold on. So, she has trade available if she has a port, which I think she does do. We could trade with her. Uh, he... I don't know if he has a port. I think that might be a port, but he is not connected to his capital, so I don't think I'd be able to trade with him. You, I definitely wouldn't be able to trade with. You, uh, you can't trade. You I can't trade with, and the Han Empire I actually could trade with because I'm bordering them. That's their capital too, so yeah, I think I could trade the Han Empire too. So yeah, I think piecing out of her is worth it simply on that alone. Even if I can't actually trade with her, because she's very much opposed to it apparently. Perhaps over time. Uh, I will give her a couple of shitty ancillaries. I have a couple left that I wanted to give out. These ones I hate, so definitely give all three of those. Um, and I'll give you, I'll give you one of these, and that's point one remaining. Why you gotta be so difficult? Sorry, not request, make payments. 50 bucks, it's not actually enough, wow. That is just, oh. Why am I being so stingy? <laughs> Let's fucking give her the money. All right, so that's piece of her, which should piece out of all of her vassals too. And then that means I could perhaps now do some more trading. Yes. Oh, no, is the answer actually. Wow, I didn't expect that. Yeah, it's probably still worth it. It's a shame that she won't trade though. Alright, fair enough. Anyone else I could peace out with and perhaps trade? Dong Min, no. Han Sui. Uh, how much is that? No, not gonna happen. Um. Liu Zhang, that was really bad before as well. He's losing all of his territory now. Though. He's getting wrecked in the ass, I'm pretty sure. And then there is you again. You again. You betrayed me. All right. Well, that was not as lucrative as I was hoping it was going to be in the end, but I could become a vassal. What a great fucking offer. All right. Uh, all right. Sounds good. Got a piece of two of the kingdoms, and we were already a piece of the other one, so... Technically, it was a good day. You're gonna come down this way. You're gonna make your way over to this here livestock farm. You're gonna sit in there and replenish a little bit longer. You, I'm half tempted to freaking sprint up that way to help out in case we need the help. I guess since we're now at war with this faction again, why don't we just go and attack uh, Chang'an? It's a little free town, by the way, so that should be fun. And we replenish any territory, so nice. Yes, Feng Laba, you're right. I'm still replenishing, or waiting for those guys to replenish, so I guess I'm waiting a little bit longer on them. I could also just move here, get into a better position. And then, we, if I, as long as I don't move, I get the mustering bonus. I think I'll do that. I'm not sure if I'll be able to attack it in a single turn, though. Maybe. We'll see. Because um, I do want to keep the aggression going as well. Kahuli! How's it going, dude? The wrong account, Kahuli Games and then Kahuli. Why aren't you wearing your normal clothes, Donkey? What are my normal clothes, Kahuli? Um, 
Where are your standard Chinese imperial robes you wear, donkey? Uh, Empress Hood took them. Look, she's got my clothes, man. I think I'd be alright she took my clothes, to be fair. Um, right, so that's all those armies moved. Right, you've still got shit to do. Uh, she's not in Force March stance. So if I attack her, she'll just run away, and I don't think I'll be able to reach her again. Do I just ignore her? This army isn't really a threat. Even against, like, the Jade Mine, I'm pretty sure we'd be fine. So I think we're gonna let her be in favor of getting here faster. Although, could I still get? I could still get there next turn anyway. Let's just try. If I can reach her again, that'd be great. Uh, unfortunately, I can't. So can I get this next turn? No. So I have to sprint. You can definitely get there from here, so that's fine. I didn't lose anything in the end. Uh, so you're going that way. You're sitting in there. You're waiting there. I could attack here preemptively. Take him out one at a time, but it is a farmland, so it will just it'll be a regular field battle, but I do get the garrison at least. And if I move out now, I don't get my mustering bonus anymore, so um this is probably fine. The only problem actually is if, if they decide to attack at the same time, like currently, if it's one at a time, if they decide to go through with the attack immediately, it would be okay. But if one of them starts besieging me and the other one moves in and then they wait for the next turn essentially, I have to fight two at the same time. So that is a consideration worth making, but I think I may have to take the risk, because I don't like my odds as it stands. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna hold off and hope that it works out. The thing is, I do, I, I won't replenish if they do go for that, and it'll just be, it'll literally just be a tougher position to be in. So it's actually quite risky. I just don't wanna do a battle like this. But if, yeah, you know what, I think I have to. I've talked myself into it. Because if I, if I don't, if I wait and they do decide to go with that plan, I could get fucked really easily. My army is half dead though. It's not great. Oh man. Are they allied? I don't think that matters, but are they allied? Because one of them asked the other one to join in. Uh, they are allied, so yeah. It's, if they do decide to do that, that would definitely be what happens. One thing I can do. Oh, no, I fuck. I, yeah, never mind. I was gonna say I could recruit this guy for free, but no, I, I uh, of course got six units on him now. Do I cancel something to recruit him though? I think that might actually be uh, another thing I could do, just to get an extra six units, even though they're half like well half dead. They're almost dead. It gets me another character too, which is definitely worth it. So I think I actually am gonna cancel some buildings. Uh, that's a four turn building, unless we have an assignment in here. Yeah, we do, so never mind. I think I built this one this turn. Oh, never, yeah, I did. Um, so I need a little bit more money. I need to go to a place where I'm actually building something, though. Like this mill post. Oh, that's two turns wasted. A bit of a shame, but oh well. Okay, so in this farmland, we're going to recruit Dong Chong. I could also recruit more characters, just recruit like. Her and him, but I think that's okay just to get six extra dudes as well. Alright, I'm just gonna sit there. Should have also checked if they have no night battles available because that could ruin me. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. <sighs> um, hmm. That was a real mistake. They have night bells available, so they could technically just attack this army. Uh, oh man, I didn't think about this enough. Tsai Mao is working for it. Is he actually? Oh he is, that's him. He's like unique as well, I think he gets more stats. Will the AI be smart enough? That's the question I gotta ask myself now, because if they're smart enough, they'll attack this army first. If I run away, though, they'll probably not be able to catch me. And if they do, this guy ends up dying, perhaps. Yeah, fuck it. I'm gonna have to just do it. got to hope for it. Donkey, the strategy is to have Night Battle. I want a satisfaction. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, man, it'd be great if they just leave on their beginning of their turn, basically. Oh, man. I don't think that's... No, nothing's gonna happen here, unfortunately, it looks like. But, oh, man, that'd be fucking fantastic. Um, my spy, unfortunately, who is embedded in, or isn't embedded in, your, in there yet, otherwise I could do, like, um, making people unhappy. Alright, let's just see what happens. 
can just fucking talk about this for days, but... Oh, for fuck's sake, another army. Jesus Christ. Okay, so he's doing that and night battling, I'm sure. So I'm going to retreat. And now he, don't, he won't be able to reach him. He had to run away, in fact. He didn't besiege me. So unless that army besieges, which he didn't, I get to replenish. Okay, so that worked out in the end. I don't get my, my uh, mustering bonus anymore, but that's okay. Merge the armies because they're going to siege and then the other army after the guy you recruited and he won't reinforce. I can't merge though. There's already three generals in here. That's That was my whole point. You have a spy. Yeah, the spy isn't actually in the faction yet though. Wangri requested Dongmin to join the war against some rebels. Wangri requested Ma Tong. Jesus Christ. Everyone went to war with uh, Kingdom of Wu now. Liu Yong has come of age. Mirror, mirror. Minus 25 satisfactions for Hua Xiong. Which shouldn't matter, because I'm pretty sure this guy's super happy anyway. Yeah, he's still fucking... 70, he's 75 now. Fair enough. Um, okay, so let me have a look at this new, this new son of mine. Came of age. Liu Yong, right? Oh, that's one of Liu Bei's sons. So, I think... Oh, he's superstitious. That could get me... Um, I'm going to keep him around for that reason alone. Because that could get me... Dilu is the horse's name, I think. The one that Liu Bei is supposed to get. And then the rider who, who rides on the Dilu dies. But still, I want the horse because it's legendary. Okay, so we got a turn of replenishment, which makes this a lot more convenient or a lot more easy to, to do the attack now. The other army isn't. Um... Oh, she's running away. What the fuck? Well, I'll have your town, if you don't mind. In a uh, hidden stance, ambush stance. There's actually a garrison here. Give it to me. Really? Man, it's not worked once in this whole campaign. Fuck. Oh my god. 61. Damn it. Every time, man, I see these, these traits, the first thing I now realize, I have to look at the age. Oh, fuck me. This guy's great. He's brilliant, understanding, bright. Why do people who have brilliant traits always end up with more good traits. Oh, he's so... You're so good, Shu, Shu Yuan. I want you, Administrator Chang'an. Oh, let me use you. Let me abuse you. I've long sought a worthy master. Uh, I want to recruit him, just so they don't have him anymore. I'll keep him around until he dies. He, des he, he, he deserves a worthy faction to, to, to live in until the end. Get him, don't matter if he's a billion years old. <laughs> One billion traits. Energetic. Oh, for Lu Bu. Damn, I'll take that. Very nice. Very nice. Speaking of, let's go take this town with your extra movement. The army uh, s rightfully fucked off in time. Another level 3 town. Who, is, who are the dickheads who aren't upgrading these towns? Who are the little bitches? Oh, that's okay, right, that's why it had a garrison. Oroids. Oh, plus five satisfaction faction wide. Don't really need that one, though. I already have high satisfaction, so this is actually... Despite it being gold, and it would be the only gold one I have, it's not really good. I want the fucking corruption one, please. Speaking of, I should upgrade my towns. I think this is my highest level town. Is there? There's no way to see this. I checked this before. So let's get this one up to level 10. Unless I want to use the... I mean, it's such a huge amount of money to spend on something, but... Because um, I do have loads of other things to build, but that minus 25% corruption would definitely be worth it. Okay, that's a good building to build if I have money to build. Alright, so you're going to sit on the border of this... I need to declare... I need to break all my trees with him at some point soon. That's what I need to do to prepare for this war. Because war... War never changes. Um, I'm also going to switch these armies around, funny enough. I'm going to pop you over yonder. I'm going to pop you in here. I'm going to miss out on the mustering bonus, but it doesn't matter. Because I want his, I want the, this good army to be closer to the, the capital, which is what likely where the armies are going to be at. You're going to run down, because we're going to... Hold on, I gotta think about this actually, because you're gonna keep going this way for now. In fact, you might just go further this way and ignore. Well, there's more towns here too, but either way, so we have 
So we could send this army down here to take the iron mine. You take the farmland. You take this, and then guy from iron mine goes here. Army from here goes there. Army from here goes there, and then we just you know figure out from there. So yeah, you can just go whatever you want to do over here, and you're gonna go towards here. Wait, what? Here, please. You'd be so kind. You've taken that. Fan bloody tastic. You are waiting for replenishment, but I mean, what's the garrison like in this animal tamer place? Not very good. I think we're just going to take this right now. Unfortunately, if I auto resolve it, I'll likely lose those two units again. Is there. This is just a field battle, right? Yeah. I should probably fight it then. Uh, you. I need to consider what to do with this stuff around here, because I, at this point, probably would be wise to attack this army rather than. Um, rather than let them move around because they could just go to my horse pastures if they wanted to. Oh, Donkey, I remember one of your vids. You asked if characters can gain the brilliant trait while playing Kong Rong. My Kong Rong got that trait at 68 years old. I think it might be tied to age or something. Okay. Um, I Yeah, because I, I, when I start reading your message, I was going to say, I don't think they can because I've never seen it happen, but I guess it is possible. It is possible. Uh, I don't want to do any of that. Who, which army hasn't moved yet? All oh, right, you. Okay, well, fair enough. So, yeah, the only thing that's really left to do is that battle and this. And uh, nothing else. Uh, and perhaps spending money to recruit more people in here. I don't think I need another army here. I think that might be a bit overkill. I just wanted to get him here to get some extra dudes. So there are three armies here. We've got to remember there is an army in ambush stands there, so we've got to be careful here. If I move you in to join this battle as well, there's a solid chance that I... Okay, I wouldn't even be able to move into the town, so I don't think I am. And I'm pretty sure they'll run away if I do. So let's just do this. Uh, is she still... How unhappy are you? Still at one. Um, yeah, I'll have to fight this one first now. I was going to do the other one first, but whatever. Whatever. Don't upgrade Dong Lai, upgrade Luoyang and make it your capital because Luoyang makes more money, plus it has ancient capital buff. I'll have a look. If you want another full army, you'll probably have to cancel your economy. Well, I'm not talking about this specific turn. I'm just saying in general. Uh, okay. They have towers, but we have siege, so I don't think that's going to matter too much. Um, okay, I want a core of actual good units. Even though I miss out on 10% armor on two of them, but that's okay. And then I'll put my other spear units on the flanks to do, do deal with the calf. And you. And I have, I mean, I have Lua Jun here, something I shouldn't underestimate. He is well equipped. He has a legendary fucking. He has two legendary items equipped right now. It's like the most legendary items of anyone, except for Liu Bei, I think. Legendary um, mounts, legendary armor, a silver weapon, a bronze item here, and a shitty wooden ox, but that's okay. Uh, he's got 59k HP, which apparently is fucking yellow, by the way. Should just, you know, note that real quick. You're just going to sit there until I start shooting at you, I'm sure. Sounds good to me. We'll make it happen. Nice flat piece of land, though, this map. Gives you more income, plus two public orders, I think. I'm not too worried about the public order. You still have spear guards. I know I do. That's why I put them on the flank specifically. Uh, actually, I think we're going to be close enough here already. I just didn't have the money to replace them yet. Hence... <laughs> Why do they keep doing this? Like, they're coming! Burn it! Burn it quick! They have a strategist too, in fact, so loose formation will be a thing. Are they coming? Not yet. Hopefully we can do enough damage to make them come. Uh, okay, shoot at the unit over there. Chang warriors, which is so fucking trash. There we go. They are coming. Then you may fire one more time. One more time, and then fire it will. Alright, here we go. This is going to be a little bit rough. Especially because they have fucking half their arm being calf. Slightly troublesome. Don't shoot at me. Don't do it. I am not worthy. Anyone want to duel this man? Yes, time out. Let's go. He's got two silver items too. 
Uh, do it anyway. I probably should have. Oh, he wasn't gonna target me though, so I guess this is fine. Come on, make it happen. Nice, nice, well done. We'll get him next time. Fucking binding Furium. Okay, he's taking heavy damage already, so this is looking all right. I mean, it's Lua Jun. This guy has 65, I think, stats, which is higher than most legendary characters. He has more stats than, like, any character in my faction. He just doesn't have a unique portrait yet. Donkey, have you heard of the Make Them Unique mod, or whatever the fuck it's called? Yes, I have. Only about a billion times. He's taking some damage now, but if he wins in the next 40 seconds, we'll get a load of HP back. In fact, we'll probably be full HP. Do it! Slash him! Slash, slash, slash him, please. We're not really killing him anymore. Um, this fucking cab, this raider cab, though. We gotta get over here, but... There we go, nice one. Did he get back to full? Not really, but fairly close. Alright, well, while you're back there... Ugh, anti cam and I don't have any uh, good abilities of you. While you're there, go kill these guys for me. Unless that unit's coming for you, which would be a bit inconvenient, but... Just do it anyway. Just do it! You go over here. No, that unit of cows is running around. I wonder if he has a scare ability, because those units are routing around him. No. Well, not loads. He doesn't really ship morale. What's going on here? I don't like this mounted archer shit that's happening right now. Oh my god, he's fucking messing this guy up. Majun. He's getting murdered. There he goes. Goodbye. Kill uh, Hu... Hu Yueju, please. Could be so kind as to quickly do some murdering for me. So much to go capture the towers, too. Alright, we got everything routing now. Yari Amazing, thanks for the sub. Nice, good shooting that was. Fa fucking fantastic, thank you. Thank you so much. Very kind. Uh, okay, someone's gotta go capture this. Or use a general for it. You, I need you to go kill some units for me, because I actually legitimately need that right now. Someone else go capture that one, please. There's a lot of shit to murder here. Nice, fucking hell, this guy's a slaughtering machine. Absolutely fucking demolish three generals there. No kidding. Alright. Just the ranged cab now that are being a little bitches. If he actually gets caught by uh, this unit, <laughs> he'll be in some real trouble. Like, I'm not even joking. Not even fucking joking. Like, I don't think I can actually reach this army. Well, maybe I can. I, I didn't have to run too far here, but movement is tor ter terrible. Terrible in, um, in these areas, so I don't know if I'll be able to reach this army again and get back into my town before I get murdered by the next armies that are gonna come and attack me. God damn it, I have a fucking strategist chasing this goddamn Chiang Hunters. Unbelievable. Lost uh, quite a few more of my Raider cavalry, which I never realized I have. <laughs> Alright, I need to change that too, as it turns out. That's Cav as well, yeah. Oh my god, these fucking dudes are gonna capture this tower. Or can't they? No, they can't, never mind. Um, this is getting a little bit ridiculous. Is this. Okay, it's finally routing now. Is there something else that's not routing yet? Yes, this one over here, for fuck's sake. We're just like right up inside of it. We're not doing any damage to it. 14 morale, which is somehow enough for them to be fucking steady or something. Fine, I guess we'll chase them to the ends of the earth. Uh, okay, there we go. Then, uh, she blows. Okay, so they're getting slightly killed. They're still 40, so yeah, it's just so shit. Like, Cav versus Cav is just horrible. It takes ages to kill anything. But that's just because Cav is overpowered, not just because it's like Cav v Cav. Uh, it also seems that it, it's been a long time since I've seen Cav get absolutely slaughtered from charging into my lines. That doesn't seem to happen that much anymore either. Like, I used to always recruit tons of spears because when the Cav charged in, you would just literally see their unit evaporate before your eyes. 
But that doesn't really happen anymore now. It just seems to... That they kind of walk in, they lose, I don't know, maybe 10 men or something, or 10, 10 horses. Um, and then it just kind of ends. Couldn't even fucking select this dude. Yeah, they're all dead already. Just that one. Yeah, run him the other way. No. All right. Oh, apparently there's loads of mods that we're talking about now. Make them unique, etc. Liu Jun has 65 stats. Are you sure he's from the eight? Yeah, I know, right? It's crazy. Pretty sure it's uh, 65 as well, which is such a weird number. Oh, it's time now. Meow. Uh, oh, I would like that champion's letter, I'll tell you. But I'm not in the business of executing men right now. So I'm not too... It's Sai Mao, though. Champion's letter is pretty solid. Could equip that on this man right here. Um, nah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna change my ways now. Uh, as much as I want, I mean, as much as I like 1,200 bucks, I kind of need the money. Or sorry, I kind of need the replenishment here. Even though 4% is a bit shit for what we just did, but I'm still gonna take it. We have enough money right now. Um, okay, so I do need to change this one over as well. And I need to exchange more of these guys once I have the money, which I can do two of them right now, which does cost me more men. Okay, I can attack him again and definitely kill him off, but then I won't be able to get into the farmland. So I'm gonna have to probably let these guys be... Oh god, if I killed this unit as well, this whole bloody fucking retinue would have been gone. Do you have any night battles? No, and I don't even think these guys even get it, so that's fine. Gorgiarang tough. When was that? And where was that? Where the f... What? Over here. Okay, sure. Uh, composure... We haven't even got Stifling Deluge here. What the fuck? Alright, so he's almost at Wisdom of the River as well, which is good. Gorgias package. He's also 6... 59. Okay, he's not that old yet. Uh, we got ourselves under our axe. Great. Okay. Right, so I could chase them and then run back in here, but then I'm tired against this, and this is just a regular field battle, so I don't really like that. So I think I'm going to let them be. I'm going to move you back here again as well. And I actually am going to just keep him. Not recruit more, but just keep him around. And of course, there is an army here. we got to remember, I don't even know if they have um, the ability to night battle, so that's something to consider as well. Alright, let's switch two, mo two more of these guys over. Does reduce their number a little bit, but that's okay. And then we had a battle up here, which I could auto-resolve, but I might lose those two units, which would stop me from expanding further more quickly. So I guess I'm just gonna fight this one too. This should be the super, like, I'll just triple speed this one all the way, I think. It's been a long time since we fought this army, by the way, because I barely even remember the fact that this guy has Hail of Arrows, which has been so good. But now that we have like eight armies or something, it's not really something that pops up a lot very often anymore. Alright, I do have some calf, but that's okay. So you guys are gonna sit back. You guys are probably gonna do very little as well, to be fair. Yeah, let's put one of you over here. Um, you sit back. Oh, you have a melee attack, which is just the weirdest thing still for me. Alright. And I'll do one hail of arrows just to shoot it at them, weaken them a little bit, and then we'll uh, let them come. There is yet one dwarf in Moria that still draws breath. Shit, there's a fucking hill in the way, apparently. Damn it, now the calf's coming towards me. Fucking ruined. Shoot. Legolas! Whatever. Alright. Then leave those calf there, and then move this way again. Oh, they're fucking routed. Got them. Okay. Now you're just probably gonna be gone from that as well. Send that in. Do a little bit of that. Then gone. Definitely worth fighting manually. There's some cab over here. Which is very much thinking about running away. And I would advise that you do so. Oh, they did. Great. Alright, that was good. What a battle. What a victory. 
Um, haven't really played much of this update. Is the Siege Crossbow better than the Trap? I'm still, honestly, when I first tried them out, they seemed really, really good, but I, I opt them, that was in custom battles, I opt them to 10 experience, so they were obviously really accurate and stuff. But now that I am, I've used them more and more, I'm honestly still a bit... Like, it's weird, because the trebuchet has been nerfed, obviously, a lot as well, but it's still, it's actually really useful in Siege, just, it's just simply because it can destroy walls and you can walk on in. Like, that part of it, of the trebuchet, is super useful. So even though it doesn't kill super effectively anymore, it still kills pretty similarly to the crossbow. I have had some battles where if the enemy doesn't have loose formation and mine has like, you know, six experience or more, it becomes pretty solid. But up until that point, oh, for fuck's sake, it's bugged out again. Um, which means you're... Yeah, it's frozen for you guys again. Uh, the game just saved, right? After I took that. Uh, yes, okay, let me restart the game again real quick. Um, so yeah, it, it does actually... Um, it, it does do quite well. I just don't know if it's better than the trebuchet. It's different. Like, it's obviously supposed to be better in field battles, but it isn't that much better in field battles, and it's a lot worse in sieges, so it's kind of like weighing it off like that. Um... Takes too long to be able to recruit the Imperial units in the campaign as Leo Hong. Which Imperial army should I units should I spam in my army before the campaign ends? Heavy shield guards, they're the best frontline troops I've ever used. Heavy spears are good at holding but can't really destroy units. No infantry <laughs> No infantry can destroy units, which is why you don't use infantry to destroy units. You just use infantry to hold a line for as long as possible, which makes heavy shield guards. Good. Although I don't know if that's their actual name. But yeah, just use. I, that's why I like defensive spear units. Oh no, it's, is it bugging out again? No, it's still okay. That's why I like using defensive shield, uh, spear units because they counter cavalry. They're good at holding a line for a long period of time. There's like nothing to to worry about. Um, you just hold them there, and then you you shoot shit with the crossbow as you charge shit in the back with with. Um, Cavalry, that's it. That's all you do. Right, so you guys are just getting into position to attack. I think we're done in this turn. Uh, I guess I should check this again. I think that was the last turn that I checked. She wants peace again. But I have an army taking her shit now. There is an army of hers there as well, in fairness. How bad did you want peace? Not really. If I could take one of their territories, I would do it. You'd only give me the Jade Mine, which is like super easy to take anyway, so. No thanks. The only reason I take pieces is because there is an army there, but I think we're good here now, to be honest. We just dealt with one. There's still two more to deal with, which could be probable. Ooh, a couple of Pearl Dragons in there. But we got this fucking guy who I was going to check his stats. And yeah, that is uh, 65, yeah. It's weird. It's a weird number. But yeah, if you compare it to like most of my legendary characters, Gorgia is 60 probably. Yeah, he has 60, so he has less than that random fucking dude who doesn't even have a special portrait. This guy's got 60, Kong Rong, 60. What else have we got? Liu Bei, 60, I'm pretty sure. Uh, oh no, Liu Bei is 80. I didn't realize that Liu Bei had 80, but okay, Lubu probably has 82, right? Yes, he also had 80. 82, 82. This guy only has 35, which is another kind of weird number. Uh, oh yeah, we already checked Guo Jia. Zhang Fei, 60. Guan Yu, 60. No, Guan Yu is 80 as well. Okay, never mind. Fuck me, I didn't realize that. 60. Anyway, so yeah, 65 is a weird one because it actually has, he has more than most of the characters in my faction. Just Liu Bei and Guan Yu and um, Lu Bu, apparently. Anyway, let's move on, I think. Bit scary. Bit scary. Thanks for the sub, by the way. Zongba! No, this fuck! Alright, well, that's gonna be uh, a big old focus, real quick, because we're gonna have to rush east and start taking some territory there. Hansu, we didn't attack yet. May not be able to reach. That army is coming back and attacking. Oh man, it's actually. What the? How is that? Oh, because it's all calf, and I have no, <laughs> I have no way to shoot back at these guys. And they're fully healed. Man, I'll let you go and everything. Um. If I retreat, he has to attack the town again. I just... That doesn't mean my army is further away, so she can probably attack me now. Oh, I may have made a... Oh, she didn't reach. Thank fuck for that. That could have been really painful, actually. 
I didn't consider that at all. I also need to give this guy some gear still. I don't think I have that, done that yet. I'm slowly replenishing here though, and he's in Force March stance now, so. So I'm about to clear Vormi by himself. Wasn't even like coalition or anything. He just was like, fuck it. I'm not done with your ass. Uh, brothers in arms, all right. Okay, so yeah, I'm not too fussed about this. It, it, it delays this for a little while longer, but hey, it means I can take a whole bunch more provinces that I'm bordering, which is always a good thing. Uh, Lady Ding. Did you not used to own your own faction? She has a grudge against two different factions. She used to oh, she used to be part of Leo Bay's faction. What the fuck? What the fuck, Leo Bay? Uh, what the fuck, Lady Ding? Even thanks for the sub once more. Shang Jia. I thought he was seventy years old for a second. I saw that. I was like, what? But no. Now he decides to look for a different army, a different faction to to serve. Uh, we're down to seven grand income. Disgusting. I need this. Ooh, impeccable, honest, Liu Bei, and creative, Fu Han. All right, if you say so. Uh, yeah, I, I believe it. I just have more important shit to do right now. Right, can we take the Jade Mine? We can. Or I can take... Wait, what is it? Oh, that's the Han Empire Town. Never mind, we're taking this first. Give it to me! This is going to be an auto-resolve despite medium losses, probably no low, low losses, but it's still going to be an auto-resolve, I think. Because this is one of those ones where it's just going to be annoying. Although I still probably would lose less men. If we don't have loot booted, ah, it's just fucking delegated. I'm not too worried about it. Yeah, that's totally fine. I'm happy with that. Alright. Good shit. Got a level 3 jade mine. Fan bloody tastic. Kindred jam. Oof. Ooh, food! I give those two. Got to level up for someone. Not this pair uh, people. Apparently, it's her. Okay. Uh, sure. Just take that. And who else? Who else would do this to me? Liu Bei is unhappy in my faction. Holy shit! Faction grudge. We already knew about that. Rivals, rivalries, rivalry of faction leader, general discontent, friendship of hostile factions. What the fuck, Liu Bei? Look at him fucking pointing his finger at me. He's so angry right now. You better not leave my faction, dude. I need you. Um, man. Okay. Can I just uh, give you a different role? Here you go. You wanna? No, I'll do that later. Just make sure he doesn't fucking leave for now. <sighs> like, I, I at some point I do need to replace him in that army anyway because I want um, Guan Yu to have a different. Like, I want, of course, because I, yeah, someone wants to see the God of War ability together with, uh, it just wants me to one-shot someone, basically. So I need, um, a good strategist. Strategist. I want you to level up so I can get better calf. Um, first of all, you're moving over here. That's the Han Empire, actually. Uh, I should have maybe moved a little bit less and then try to ambush. Can she currently get there in a single turn? No, she can't. Would I replenish in there? Because I seem to replenish in any enemy territory all the time. I do. Okay, let's just go all the way then. Do I have military access for your lands? It doesn't say I'm trespassing. I don't, though. But you're a vassal, so I suppose it doesn't really matter. Speaking of deals. Oh, no more trade available. How very sad. She wants peace again. Whatever, we'll deal with all that stuff later. Alright, so we're going to get uh, diverted a little bit with these armies here. I will sprint, because there's no way she can get past that army right now. Um, yeah, if there's armies around here, I could actually be in a little bit of trouble around here. This actually has a level 4, so that's good. Um, oh, right, I was going to check if Li Yang was working. Yeah, see, the thing, the thing is, this is level 6, uh, sorry, level 7, so it would take an extra whole bunch of money. Minus 20 cents corruption, is that because it's Luoyang? General effects. No, we get that here as well. I don't know what that bonus is that we get there then, but it just takes another level up to get this up, so I just don't care enough. Um, right, so you were going to go down this way. I think I am going to still do that. I don't really see why I wouldn't. You, unfortunately, can't reach anything. I also should consider going this way first. Uh, after Dongmin. We haven't seen any of his armies yet, so I feel like I'm not going to get attacked by him at all. I just don't know 
like where are the most likely places that I'm going to get attacked from. I think I'm just going to go here. And do we replenish an enemy territory view as well? Yes, there is actually an army there. Well, sounds like another time for another ambush. Wang Wapuke. We're going to do some stuff here. I'm definitely going to kill this army off. Um, do you have any... No? Uh, yes, you have nine battles as well. Okay. So that's another one i got to be careful of, because that could easily attack this this as well and get fucked. Um, so we'll start with this. Do I auto resolve this? They might survive if I do. Yeah, they did. I, should, I probably should have fought it manually. Make sure they die, but eh. It's all a cav. Uh, bright understanding. She's actually fairly decent, but don't really need her right now. Take the replenishment. Holy shit, we're fucking stranded. That's some terrible movement. Can I even run back into town? I can't. Holy shit. Okay, well that kind of that kind of sucks. I may have fucked everything because of that. You can Oh my god, you can't even get in there. How does that work? Jesus. Okay. Um, I may have to take piece of her after all. This is gonna go. Well, what the fuck? It's a level one town. That's disgusting. Okay, let's get piece of her. Um, you don't want to be my vassal, do you? No, you don't. Let's just give me some fucking ancillaries or something, please. Somebody wants to me. God, this is terrible. Can you? You can't even trade with me. What's wrong with this faction? She's already got max trade. That's why. This money that I'm getting isn't even worth anything. Terrible. Uh, I will just take some insta money, I think. That probably is better. Insta cash. Um, no, it's not better. But it's not much worse either. <laughs> Jesus Christ, the jumps are huge. Alright, fine. I'll just take that, I guess. If only she had some incendiaries to give. I can't trade territory because she only has one left and she can't give her capital away just like that, so... Fine, I'll take the piece just so I can. I have those armies not to deal with right now. Um, and this army doesn't have the ability to night battle. So, I could technically run this army over in Force March Stance, but if I get it, no, that's a terrible idea, because if I get attacked. I just hope he can't reach this, I guess. Force March. It doesn't even get me in range of the town, I don't think. Terrible. I could run back a little bit, but I still might get caught. If he attacks the farmland, though, I might just lose it, and then I might lose this as well. But I guess I'll take it back next turn. I suppose that isn't really much of a problem. He won't be able to hold on to it. Yeah, fair enough. Right, I still need to replenish, but that's okay. We're just going to move up here, take this farmland next. And then Dongzhou is actually down to just the territories down here. So that's that one and this one. So that'll be Dongzhou's faction gone. Unfortunately, the actual Dong is dead already, so there isn't much to uh, get there. In terms of, like, cool items of shit. So you guys are going to deal with that. Uh, two armies should be enough to deal with all that, I think. You're going to go here, and I guess you can go this way for now, and while he goes there. Um, so that will probably be okay. We got a whole load of money. I could recruit some stuff in here, just to make sure this is actually a little bit stronger. But I'm not sure if I really want to afford another army right now. I think I'm actually going to spend the money on some buildings this time around since I finally have some money to do so. I have a whole load of buildings to build. This is level 3, Chang'an, which is over here, right? So that definitely needs to get upgraded. Not instantly, though. Don't really have any more Sentinels available. Die. Uh, upgrade something else. This was... There was so many stuff I wanted to convert. I still I remember there was a couple big towns that I took recently. I had so much shit to build and convert and everything. Um, was it Hanai as well, perhaps? Uh, no, because that's a food-based province. Wait, what about the other one that I just did that in? No, because, yeah, that's money, so I need to make the money one. Yeah, so that one definitely does want to get converted. Um... Nanyang is level 4, so that's okay for now. This place, build that up, sure. Uh, this one doesn't really do much there. 
I don't know why I even built this here. I was, I was just going to start building the schools instead. Although once this gets upgraded and it gives um, in adjacent commanderies as well. But I mean, am I ever even going to get... Wow. Am I ever even going to get to that point is the question. Is it even worth trying to go for that? So yeah, there are some school buildings, but I'm not too concerned about them right now. Here again, I can upgrade it, but it doesn't really increase my income there at all. Same goes for this place, to be honest. It's just not worth it right now. That's definitely worth upgrading now. All right, well, I've got some money left over, so I guess I'll get something else. Or not. Uh, sure, that one will do. Nope, I saw that. Just click there. Okay. So yeah, this is a bit of an awkward situation. This will be fine. And then hopefully the, I don't see a bazillion armies coming up to attack me. Let's have a look at your faction leader. Courageous warrior. Prefer solving problems by direct conflict rather than by words. Only offers peace if in real trouble. Strongly militaristic, heavily focused on spending on armies. Okay, so he probably has a couple of armies laying around. Honorable honors treaties. Really? Will not commit treacherous acts. Oh, because I could have sworn we had a food deal as well as uh, military access and a non-aggression pact. But okay. Much more willing to sign deals with respectful leaders in diplomacy and opposes the ones with bad respect rating. Oh, well, that's okay. Fair enough. Um, what else you got for me? Hard as a bribe in diplomacy, makes diplomatic decisions based almost exclusively on diplomatic attitude. And brave, may attack superior force on the campaign map. May only retreat from a battle if there's a friendly walled settlement in movement range. Okay, interesting. Interesting, Zangba. So she might just attack me, because I am superior, of course. Much superior. Okay, I think that's it for this turn. I should definitely do some of this. I haven't done that for ages. Mission aborted, mission issued. So, move a character to Bay High. Okay. Construct the schools. Okay, I am doing that. Not right now, but Forge and Lions and Hunt Emperor again. What is up with that? Confucian Temples. I'm not really planning on building those. I move to Bay High, large city as well. Well, I might not do any of those for a little while. Fucking pointless, thanks. Um, and that is that. Let us end the turn. Let's see what happens. There's Zangba moving away. Okay. Move away. Oh, my ambush failed. Wait. Okay, he still attacked me though. Wait, what? Hold on. My ambush failed and he decided to attack with that into Lubu. <laughs> what an interesting choice, sir. Alright, fine. I'll delegate it. He won't die all the way, but we can take him out next turn. Although, he might run away back to his town. Yeah, it's basically dead. Ho Huo, Huo Xing, sorry. That was a bit weird. Uh, superstitious again. Dutiful, 54 years old. Release. And you're just trash, so release. Take the money there. I'm not too concerned about 2% replenishment in that army specifically. Alright, well that was good. Han Sui is going for the town. Damn. Um, can I win this? Oh, the Pearl Dragons are going to fuck me up. <laughs> Only one character, who I still forgot to give items to, by the way. So he's unequipped, pretty much. Yeah, he's got that stone pig. Damn. Could have done a lot better for him. Uh, it's apparently like a close defeat. I don't know, it's possible, but... He's got crossbows too. Only one. Oh no, never mind. I thought those were uh, the other ones for a second. Uh, we're gonna fucking destroy it here. The thing is, this army should survive, right? So I should make sure it does. He won't be able to attack me. I guess, yeah, we'll just lose it and take it back next turn with an army and a half, right? What does Superstitious do? Superstitious is always fun. Uh, it give, yeah, it gives you events. Like, uh, and it's a, you, have, you have the possibility to get a legendary horse. Which is pretty sweet. Alright, so I think... I mean, we're just going to sacrifice these guys. Do as, try and do as much damage as possible. Should probably set my more armor units up front as well. But I don't care enough here, to be honest. Um, I'll try and save as much of these units as possible. Oh, fucking hell. We're all the way to the fucking edge of the map. Okay, let's go back. They'll come and attack me. Like, I just don't see a way of winning this one, to be honest. Oh, boy. What is this? Oh boy, you are super slowed down by that. <laughs> oh god, that's horrible. Um. Okay, maybe uh, maybe don't move that far back because apparently that's not possible. Hold on. Oh Jesus Christ! Okay, hold on. Move move a little bit further back. 
try and get the swords up here. God, I wanted to be on the edge of the map, but I guess that's not gonna happen. Yeah, get in the forest too, for the range block chance. I guess I should put these guys up front for the range block chance too, but then I'm sacrificing actual units, which sucks. Oh, never mind, they haven't even got the ability, never mind. Never mind, never mind, never mind. It's not worth it. It's knee worth it. Uh, I should, however... Uh, uh, not you, sorry. I'd rather just run him away. Should I just run? I can't even run away. Never mind, I can't run away. He should still survive though, right? Even if we lose the battle? Shit, how does that work? I mean, he might get the stone pig stolen off of him, I guess. Or he might even get executed, but surely he won't, because I've saved so many of his dudes, right? He he wouldn't. Surely. Uh, I don't need that many. It's on the flanks. Let's just put you on the flank, and I'll put you up front as kind of like a... Taking the damage from the ranged. I don't even know what's happening right now. I do know that I need to put my range in this back a little bit. Alright, and then we I'll probably triple speed the whole fucking battle. Although, since I now know that I can't actually retreat, despite these guys being reinforcements, I'm a little bit worried about this. He's not legendary, so he will die, I think. Is he? I can't see his expertise right now. If I gave him some fucking items, he would have been. Gosh darn it. Okay, shoot at the fucking Pearl Dragons. That's definitely, like, the most important thing right now. Fuck that, you don't know, at least. Oh no, it moved! You fucking twats! I can't believe that just happened. They moved in range and then moved away immediately, which kind of ruined everything for me. Because now I'm moving around while not shooting at them. Okay, well, there's one over here that's stationary, so... I think they're actually going to sit back and shoot at me for a while, those little shits. They have a high range block chance, I'm aware of this, but I still got to do something. They also have loose formation. He's legendary, isn't he? Oh, is he? Oh yeah, you're right, he's got gold lettering, you're right. Okay, so he can die. There's the other one right there. Oh, this unit routed over. <laughs> Hadn't even noticed that. Um, I have no cav, there's like literally nothing I can do here. Make sure I hit a whole bunch of units with this. Okay. Got most of the right side. Up against some pearl dragons. Alright. Let's get going, boys. I don't know where the cab went on their side, but they're just roaming around, though, it seems. Okay, get in there. Get in there. Get in there. You get in there, too. You kind of go that way. You as well. Although, that's a lot of units there. Let's go back this way. The flank, I'm sure, is going to be the most, the biggest problem for us. Yeah, this unit's almost running already. 8 morale. Fucking great. Love me some 8 morale. Should I take on... They're hidden. Seriously? I was just going to say, I might even be able to kill someone with that. That would actually be legitimately useful. Damn it. Get back in there, boys! We're shooting the Pearl Dragon still. There's one. You want to duel me? No. One of them is actually stronger than me as well, so that's great. This fucking he just even keeps fainting charges. Look, like nah, actually I'm joking. I think they're gonna flank me. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. Their archers have run out of actual ammo right now. Still shooting at the uh, pearl dragons. You go and uh, hold those pearl dragons back for me, would you? If you'd be so kind. Ah, man, flees the battlefield. A shameful display! Oh no, the debuff. It's gonna fucking ruin me, I can tell you. Oh, I'll tell you. Yeah, we were never gonna win this one, I'm afraid. But that's okay. Sometimes you lose. Is that. Mo it's Moan! Uh, okay, that's the guy apparently we can take on. So let's go and take him on. Take on me! Let's shoot the crossbows. Let's do something. Let's actually get the pearl dragons. Uh, actually, we almost got them. 
Kill a couple more of them and that unit will actually be dead while we attack them next turn. And perhaps that one too. 26. Ah, oh, killed two more of them and they would have actually been dead. You! Shoot two more of those guys. That's like my main objective right now. Yes, okay, that unit's gone. I shoot a couple more of them as well. Everyone else, distract everything. Uh, where'd my dude guy? Oh, he, okay, he ran away. He'll, he'll survive. Don't don't come back from routing. Don't do it. Don't regain your morale. Uh, 22, we killed that way. Is that the same one still? Or is that the other one? No, that's the one that we already wounded. I don't know what the other one's at. 30. Damn it, they survived. Alright. Our eyes are still invisible in winter. Yep, it's a bit annoying. Firing at sh pearl dragons is like firing at shields. I'm aware. Well, it's actually not. Well, it's kind of like that. Um, but I still think it's the best unit to fire at because it's like the best, like the, the highest value target by far. And we killed one. All right, he did survive. And he won't be able to get attacked anymore because they just took the town. This guy's gonna fucking try. He's gonna fucking try, but he won't. He ain't gonna succeed. I don't replenish though, even though we replenish in enemy territory, like just about everyone. Not with him. Zhangba requested Wang. No, Wang Rui, this fucking twat over here. Why? Why must you play me so? Uh, lost the farmlands, faction success in Chayon, okay. Okay. Uncomplicated. Oh, one of our kids. Wait, no, one of Liu Bei's kids. Don't care. But a clayfish. Fucking yes. Alright. So, first of all. Oh my god, I can barely fucking reach. Jesus Christ. It's terrible. Um... Do I siege him out? I might do. Try this, but he's never gonna take that. So you, I need to fucking give you some items before I forget again. So first of all... Um... Hmm. I have no good weapon for you. I'm gonna give you the Kindred Jin, John, even. That's high damage and shit. Uh, I'll give you the better one there. Yeah, I got nothing... Oh yeah, I do got something for you here. And I have... We currently have 6 instinct, and I guess that's fine. I have, well, I gave him plus 15, he still only has 57, so he's not. it's not that great, actually. This is not, not a really good weapon for him at all, but... Alright, that would actually be a bit scary if I can't get away. Does, is that still got the lady who's got my battles? Yeah, they do as well. That's kind of annoying. Is he in range now? He is, okay. A Valiant Defeat. Well, I, I'm not worried about this army now. But I could wait to s and starve him out. The problem would be that this army would then be able to attack him. And then I'd have to run away again and hope he actually gets away. On a more bright note, let's do a whole bunch of taking towns for free. I'll have this one. Please don't lose my first two units again. Good. Did lose 580 men, which is actually kind of high, but it's okay. Alright, another command we secured and a level up for this guy. Grats. Uh, charge speed is the best option, yeah. Go for that. We also have nothing else, okay. Then we have I saw that we could probably reach this army here, which isn't four smart stands, so we can finally fuck them up. You're gonna have to go. I want to auto resolve this, but I, if I do, they'll probably get away again, but I'm still going to do it anyway. Yeah, they survived. Have a good stream, we'll try to catch the next stream. Alright, goodbye, it's me, but you didn't know. Thanks for becoming a, a member, dude. I appreciate it. Uh, I will take the money. Can I reach again? Probably not. Nope, that's unfortunate, because now I can't fucking kill them off again. This army's been roaming around for ages now, being annoying. A bit unhappy about losing every fight, I'm sure, but... Nice, you are not inside of range of the town, which is actually really good for me. Although I'm gonna have to fight this one manually, maybe? Uh, I probably should. But I don't want to, so... Okay, that was, yeah, that was fine. This guy, I had him before. I don't want him. Yu Pingyan. What? So many things that that person said. Oh, I had you last time as well. 
release you again. And Gong Su do add you once as well, so great. Uh, I'll take the replenishment this time around, and then hopefully the garrison's mostly dead. It is mostly dead. Give me that. And then that is uh, Dongzhou's faction down to a single town, I believe. Ooh, an ancillary. An ancillary, you say? A stone rooster. Fucking thanks for that. Rivals, 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 rivals. Yeah, just that one town, that's their capital now, and then that will be Dong Dongzhou's faction dead. Of course not Dongzhou anymore, but we're also at war with Wang Rui now, who we're now almost bordering, or essentially are bordering across the water there. Uh, Alright, you have things to do as well. I can't attack the farmland. Um, I can't really get very far with this army. I kind of have to go different directions anyway, I suppose. Um, I suppose I might as well wait then, right? So we'll just sit here with both armies and go together. I, I, sp I, I should sp spread out, but I just don't think it's worth it. She can actually reach my... Hmm, maybe I should park you on the road here. Then I could get attack 2v1 if there is another army, but I think we'll be alright. Let's just do that. I can still attack it next turn with two armies if she wants, or if she's just going to sit there. She might be able to get reinforcements from the farmland if she does come out, but then I guess I can just run away. A level up for this person. Great. Uh, sure, let's go for that. Okay, we have 12 grand, by the way. How much would it cost to finish this off? Three and a half. I don't think I'd be able to upgrade this again. That's 8.4. Uh, maybe I could, but is that worth it? I mean, to be fair, getting this done as soon as possible, possibly even next turn, 25% corruption reduction faction-wide is insane. So I would make that money back very quickly, in fairness. So perhaps it is worth doing that. Let's see if I have any more battles to make more money, and then I can guarantee do it. Um, all right, so character salary. God, I've got, like, all the good shit already. This character salary is okay. 30% income from commerce, 25% income from trade influence, but we don't have much trade anymore, so that's kind of meh. Spy stuff, I'm not really keen on that, to be honest. Character salary is like the only thing that like definitely makes me money. Although I suppose like income from commerce is not terrible either. But 15% or 10% income from industry isn't that, that amazing either. Um wasn't there a 30% income from commerce that I was going to be able to pick up somewhere that I already get that. It's not in here or something. Surely it wouldn't be, you know. Um, I don't know. Silk and Spice, which I don't have. I only need one more to get that, which doesn't mean I can get Onyx Dragons, which is something. And then later on, we'll be able to get the Imperial Palace Cav and Imperial Palace Crossbowmen, which are worth considering. I don't know if I'd actually use them or not, but and I have to be an emperor to be able to actually use them, of course. Um, but it's definitely something that's worth considering. I need one more thing to be able to get that. And one available trade agreement, but that's pointless since I can't get enough trade right now anyway. Um, I would get this on the way, which is not a building I would build. The income from commerce is okay. I guess I could go for that. I could also eventually go for the Imperial Household Cab, but I don't really care about that either. I guess I could start going for, like, cataphracts. But then again, no, we have to have... No, in this faction, I don't want that because we have the Destroyers of Treachery already, so we don't need, need that either. Ugh, like, no good choices here. Minus one construction time. That's not bad, actually. There's also, like, something as simple as just 2% replenishment. I think we can pick up somewhere as well. That, that one right there. That's not terrible either. Doesn't make me any money, but... Plus 15% income from peasantry might actually be pretty decent as well at this point. Uh, I can go for total conquest, but I don't really do that. Um, just flipping his expertise, what are we talking about? Um, because I, I never really find, I think, I feel like there's, there's no point once you've done the, the like, victory, the grand victory, whatever the fuck it's called, ultimate victory is like, I could keep going, but everyone knows I would eventually win this anyway, and it just wouldn't really be difficult. Um, what does that do though? That just gives me the building I wouldn't build either, so that's not really that great either. 
I'm ta kind of tempted with that, but it would give me stuff that I don't really care about. Um, I don't care about heavy G infantry. Cool as they are, though. I've never used them before. They're terrible, stat-wise. Like, not even worth considering. Um, as much as I want them to be worth considering, they're just not. 2% replenishment. I don't know. It's useful, but I don't feel like I really need it. Man, I've never had this much trouble choosing something. I think I'm going to go for this one just simply because it then means I can go for that one. Even though I have no silk and spice. And the buildings aren't that interesting either to me. I'm going to keep that there. Um, Alright, do we have any other, any other fights? You're going to go... I could go this way with you to attack here. But we already have Lu Bu doing that. So I don't really need another army to do that. Plus, I might need more help this way. I don't have military access for the Han, so I could. I technically would be annoying people if I do this, but if I can't attack the Han Empire, because unfortunately they're a vassal of uh, Kingdom of Wu, so that doesn't really help. Otherwise, I'd just be like, fucking take the town, especially because there's a couple towns here that I keep. Tr I keep trespassing through them all all the time. I just realized, by the way. Uh, no one wants peace. Well, everyone's gonna die then. I could become a vassal. That's something I could do. Uh, there's nothing there. I do have a whole bunch of food because I was making food deals with Sun Ba and that's no longer a thing that I need to do. Does anyone need food? You're very poor on food. But not that poor. Do you have much money? No. Or not much that you're willing to give me anyway. Uh, everyone else I'm in a fucking war with, so whatever. I, I'm just going to trespass. I'm going to go straight through, go and attack that, and then assume that these two armies will be able to clean this stuff up around here. We're besieging that, which we're actually going to fight in a second as well, aren't we? Or was going to wait? I... was not going to wait? I don't even remember what I was going to do. You're going to run this way. That's what you're going to do. Straight up trespass. Let's go all the way. Okay. Then... What else have we got to do? Have you moved yet? Yes, that was this turn that we took that. You guys have moved, you guys have both moved, so I guess that's that for armies. I have a whole bunch of money that I want to throw at something, and I guess I will then do this. Finish this up. I should really have put an assignment in here. That would have been... Oh, I would have spent one turn, not really that big deal. So upgrade that to level 10. On seven turns, or finish it off next turn. I can't afford next turn. Wow, that's ridiculous. Um, and then, well, yeah, once we have that, we get 25% reduction faction-wide. Oh, absolutely insane. Don't even get another building slot or anything. Ridiculous. Uh, okay, so this thing here, right. So if I wait, this army will attack him. And then I'll run away. Obviously. Can I run away far enough? That's the question. Um, if I can, there's no problem. If I can't, I have a, I have a problem. They can currently get to me in four smart stance. I don't think they'll be able to reach me. Like, they might be able to attack me in, in normal stance. They might also not sally out, but... I think I'm gonna assume that they will. Although if they, if they are gonna sell you, I might as well fight it right away, right? Because it's a farmland. Is it in their favor or mine? It's in their favor, so they'll probably sell you out immediately. Uh, yeah, let's just fucking let's just do it. Let's just do it. Heavy G infantry do have good armor piercing damage, yeah, but they don't have shields. So. Where's the capital way next to the capital of Wu? Yeah, they're like right next to each other in the south. It's really annoying for me because they're on the opposite side of China. China? And, um, oh shit, I need to stop streaming soon, I just realized. Um, they're on the opposite side of China and I actually do need to... I do need to go there, obviously. I can't make them abdicate as I can, as you can with other factions, which is really annoying. Also, I still have these two units need to be replaced, but that's okay. It's gonna make a line over here, but yeah, I gotta go pick up my parents from the airport in a bit, so I do have to stop streaming after this battle, I think. Uh, okay. Obviously, gonna have to fix this line a little bit, but that's okay. Right, you're going to run off the field, because <laughs> I don't care. Actually, you're going to run off the field as well. Uh, I'll try and run you over. The ability might be worth doing. Oh god, we're already in range to fire. Jesus. Okay, let's get over here quickly then, please. 
You guys are fine. You guys get up here. here. Liu Jun is still a bit wounded, but it's okay. Anyone want to duel him, by the way? Doesn't want Wow, he's half wounded and you still want him to take him. They want to duel him, but he's not interested. The worst part about this is you really tried. Oh, I, I thought it said something about being tired. I was like, the, the worst part about this is that you're tired. I'm like, what? <laughs> what are you saying right now? Seems like a weird thing to be uh, mad about. Need to put together an expedition. Yeah, the thing is that I still need 95 regions anyway. So I, even though, didn't get to drink. Even though I, I do need to. At some point, come go down there. I also actually first need to. Oh, they do want to join me. Fantastic. I'll take it. Uh, I do need to. Um, I need to take 95 regions anyway, so taking their capitals doesn't, like, fix anything. Oh shit, it happened immediately. He's actually a little bit more wounded than I thought he was, although it just looks worse on that bar. He's a little bit above health. On a downhill charge, come on. Win the first bout. Nice one. Good start. Our archers, are, our crossbows are getting wrecked, it, I just never realized. That's not very good. It is fun to watch you improve. Oh, solid hits. Fucking even the playing field immediately. Well done. Um, this is actually not looking too great. I'm not going to lie here. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you, fine people. They're fucking firing at my multiple bolt crossbows. What is happening right now? I don't see this very often. Okay, shoot back at the archers, please, because they're my biggest problem right now. I don't like this rain of arrows happening. You need to get over here. If you're gonna do it, do it quick, please. You guys might want to get over here now and start charging the backup shits. There's too much cav around here. You know what? Just send another unit this way. Leave one over here. Go over there. Just, that cav is just running back and forth. It's super annoying. Okay, he's one. No real surprise, but still. Okay, get in there. Ignore the archers, we're shooting at them, so that should be okay. Okay, we're riding the range units now. We killed a general, that guy got mad. Does so he want to duel me? He does not. Okay, oof, that, I don't like that. Get in here. Uh, you were going to charge in there, and I totally didn't get a charge off, so now i got to move you back. Oh, you're getting fucking removed by crossbows. Jesus Christ. If only I got a single charge off, it would have been so much better, but I just didn't even get one charge off. I mean, I'm getting one now, but it's terrible. Uh, a Senec... Another cab over here, so that's something at least. Yeah, there goes that. Cab of mine is actually still going. It's actually gonna die, I think. Unfortunately. Okay, charge into the Pearl Dragons, if you wouldn't mind. These cab over here are gone now, so actually just charge straight through here. Oh, crossbows. Perhaps don't do that. Oh, crossbows, my crossbows. Perhaps do something better with your time. Uh, where's my, yeah, my actual fighty general? I should probably get him and do something with him. Ah, he's finally arrived. Welcome. Oh, that was a terrible charge. You got stopped on the first, like, two units. Get in there and use your... Oh, you don't have the ability. Damn it. Because I the six men. Yeah, this unit's gonna die. Unfortunately. Okay, you need to get in here. Ignore that unit there. You need to just get over here and use your buff and then get the fuck away from here again. Very useful. Uh, get in there somewhere. We kill these fucking crossbows. Although they're almost out of ammo, I don't think it's even worth it. You are you dismounted? No, you're not. Oh, you're up against non-anti-cap, so that's fine. Get in there, please. Okay, the crossbows are running out of ammo, so that's all good. These six guys are still going. I've got one out to free as well now. Which means that that unit's definitely dead. Down to two and it's still fighting. Man, that is one hell of a unit. And they're not even like my just destroyers of treachery or anything. They're just they're actual militia shit. Trash, if you will. The guy doesn't even want a duel. He's actually equal, apparently. I don't believe it, but... This unit right already. Painful battle, but it is a because uh, I went for the actual attack. It's a, it's a. I don't have to finish them off, which is nice. I'm just gonna win this one. That was terrible. I mean, I know he's not a, you know an AOE Vanguard type of guy, but still, that was terrible. 
Also, we haven't won yet. I have to admit that we actually aren't done here yet. This guy's on one fucking unit and he's still going. He's on five morale. <laughs> what the fuck? It's a militia. This guy's on two morale. One morale even with two men. Um, I mean, we're finding mostly fucking ranged units at this point. Also, I have a full unit of caviar. I hadn't used it all. What the fuck? Go kill this lady, please, first. Get around these units. It's like mostly archers that we're killing now. Or fighting. Use your buff again over here. Oh, men are running, the spineless bastards. So I've only got one unit of cam remaining now. Fucking kill this bastard. Hit the unit that's over here as well, I might as well. There. Now get back behind the line again. We're almost entirely out of ammo. It's a shit battle, but I'm not expecting any more battles for a little while, so I think it's okay. God, I'd really like to not be in this fight with this many random units, though. There we go, there goes she. Okay, I think we're almost making everything grow at minus 46 morale. Alright, finally. I don't know what exactly triggered it in the end, but I'll take it. Oof. That was painful. Very painful. Define painful. Well, that. That was it. Am I the only... Am I the only people who plays records over romance? No, you're not the only people. Nor the only person. I lost fucking three units of cab at least. I didn't even get to check the other stuff. Oh, it's just that. That's okay. Han Shin. Oh my goodness. It's family of Han Sui, I imagine. A battle axe. That's not bad. Uh, I'm gonna take the money now. Occupy this place. Alright. Good. Two level ups as well. Not too shabby. Uh, what do you currently have? Okay, so I could... It's kind of annoying. Um, I guess since he's the commander, I should go for this. And then you can go for something else, like Urban Rampart. So, Because I, I was going to go for that with him, but since I already have this guy going for the same buffs, we don't need to, need to do it with him. All right, cool. Uh, free, but I think one of them was. Yeah, we've already done that. Okay. Killed in Betla. Mates. Everyone's big old friendly boys. I guess I can get rid of you at this point. Just to get rid of all doubts about you getting caught over here. I'll keep. I'll keep the gear on him. I think that's that's fair. All right, so we got 2,800 bucks, which means next turn I'll definitely be able to finish that off and get the minus corruption shit. It's gonna be fucking amazing. Other than that, I think we've done everything this turn. I could build something. Uh, I should build the military infrastructure because it's fairly cheap and I'll still be able to afford that next turn anyway. So I'll go through one more turn. Hopefully we don't get any battles so I can actually do that. Because um, it's gonna be so good. Let's just get on with it. Hopefully no one attacks me. She went up towards my temple. She went the long way around. She didn't go for the Mines of Moria, apparently. Fair enough. That army is still roaming around. There's a Wang Rui army, I think that was. Gotta be careful. There's a Gongdu army that's actually relatively close. Although, relatively close to Lubu, who is quite far southwest at this point. So it's not that close. Liu Mengwen, another Liu lady coming of age. Uh, some random people. I wish I could get some more random legendary characters. Just like, it's always such a nice feeling when some random person just pops up in your pool. Like, hey, it's Sima Yi. Here you go. You're pretty sweet. Ooh, a black furrow bread. Nice. Pop that on uh, someone. Someone worthy. Good job. I haven't even got one. Here you go. <laughs> he, he didn't like that apparently. He's like, Fuck me, I don't want this fucking horse. Um, okay, so first of all, can I actually reach that army? Oh, oh, that's just sad. Ah, eh, fair enough. I'll probably pop in there and then one army over here. Um, okay, so yes, right. So this, bloop, very expensive. But now, wait, that should have given us a book. But it didn't. Damn, it was bugged after all, I guess. 
Oh, that's... I've wasted so much money on this for no reason. I've never had an Imperial City, though, to, to be fair. So I guess that's nice, I suppose. That's kind of sad. I guess it is bugged. Because it already said 9, right? For a long time, even though it, our highest was 8. So it was bugged out. But I didn't think it was actually going to be coming a problem like that. Maybe I'll get it next turn, but I doubt it. I think it's just going to... I think it's just bugged, but I'll, I'll try. But usually if something happens throughout a turn, it just happens during that turn. Fuck me, why is it moving so shit here? I know it's fucking farmland and all, but come on, man. It's terrible. Um, maybe I'll do one more turn then. I can actually reach the soap trader. Right. Let's do it. Fulluba. Uh, I'll have this, thanks. Good, good. There you go. No, wait, that's the wrong one. <laughs> what was that one from? Own a soap resource. God damn it. I was like, yes, it worked. Doing something fixed it, but no. It wasn't to be. I need that one. Um, so 100% character experience. Also pretty nifty, in fairness. Uh, so I think I'm still going to use that one. Instead of what, though? Faction support? I don't want to move any of the income stuff, and I have all of those, so... That's like a hundred and... That's not that much, to be honest. How much is the commerce one? Also, only like 250 or something. And the industry one... Okay, the industry one is like the best one by far. So I definitely want the industry one, and I think I want the commerce one, Then I guess I'll leave the peasantry one. It's like 100% character experience, which also seemed to increase my income somehow. Oh, it's just a slight adjustment, I guess. Alright, so now we get 100% more experience, which is going to level up our dudes a little bit quicker, which is nice. Um, okay, so you're going to go up here. I could even try an ambush, to be honest. In fact, I could even succeed in an ambush, because we have 100% chance right there. That's I need to move too far, though. 100% right there. I should still be in range. Yeah, unless she goes... She might be going towards the regional... Yeah, well, if she does that, she should be alright. You're gonna go take the farmland. Uh, just delegate that. That's level two. Yo, I have to upgrade that. All right. Oh, it's level three. Never mind. Why is the garrison so trash then? That was weird. Um. Okay. Well, I think I might just leave it there then. It's unfortunate, but yeah, that thing just doesn't seem to work. I think it's bugged, which really sucks, because that's by far the best book you could ever get. Because this is like, whatever, right? Who cares about a couple of extra fucking formations? Pretty re irrelevant. Then we have another gold book, which is plus 20 diplomatic, diplomatic relations with Han Empire factions. Wow! 20 diplomatic relations! If that was 100, I would still be like, meh. But, you know, that'd at least be something, but... And then there's one other, two other golden books, one of which is plus five satisfaction, which is pretty... I mean, that would have been nice if I didn't have the temple yet, I guess. But even then, look at all the fucking happy faces here. Five is not worth it. And then 100% character experience. That's pretty decent. That's probably like the second or third best one. Uh, probably the second best. And then satisfaction is third best. But then, like, fucking number, number five, four, three, two. And then number one is fucking on the ceiling. Fucking minus 25% corruption faction wide is insane, but we're just not going to get it because it's bugged. I guess. Anyway, I'm going to end the stream here because I got to go pick up my parents from the airport and I got to leave in a minute. In fact, they may have landed sooner. I didn't, I should have checked. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Is, is Legend still streaming? We do a bit of a raid. We still have a little bit of people here. Um, no, we stopped streaming an hour ago already. Okay. Well, fair enough. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to the donation and the person becoming a member. Um, I will be back tomorrow, most likely. I don't see why not, but uh, I don't want to promise anything. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, whether it be tomorrow or the day after. Have a good evening, day, morning, afternoon, whatever it is. Goodbye. Have a safe drive. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Farewell.